<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome to another Coral Island stream today. Something was on my mind this morning when I woke up. And I kind of mentioned this in my morning stream today. So in case you didn't see, I kind of wanted to share this message also with some of you that watch the Coral Island streams. I woke up today and I was very thankful, very grateful to be able to wake up in the morning and come to my computer and stream to all of you. Um, some of us in the creator world can, can kind of get up in our, I don't know, can we can really kind of forget sometimes how lucky we really are to be able to do this as a profession. Some of us are doing it as a profession. Some of us are trying to get there to do it as a profession. And when we do reach that uh, threshold of actually being able to do it full time, um, sometimes time can drift away. And this morning I woke up and I'm very lucky to be able to do this every day for all of you. And I'm very lucky to be here. And I'm very privileged and very grateful uh, to be able to do this for all of you. So I just wanted to kind of let you all know that um, I know a lot of people and I was there one day back then. I was one of those people that would really kill to be in a position like this. And I am in the position like this now. Fast forward, you know, three years uh, and, you know, from three years ago to now, I can say that, you know, obviously I can do this every day. And it's just a very lucky position that I am in, and I don't take it for granted at all. And it really puts a smile on my face that I can able and be able to do this uh, for all of you. So just thank you uh, for watching, being a viewer, being a subscriber, and uh, being a member to support the channel and me as I continue to uh, make content every single day and things like that. So yeah, just a little bit of self-realization that happened today, this morning. And I'm very lucky. I am. I'm very lucky. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> this whole gig here is a very, has a lot to do with luck, really, and a lot to do, I mean, I don't know, I think it has a lot to do with luck, <laughs> but anyways, I digress. Welcome back to Coral Island. We're here, we're going to be continuing our playthrough, but before we do that, I hey, have subscriber. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. But before we do that, I actually have a discussion I want to talk about at the top of this stream. Something that I was thinking about earlier this morning that um, really kind of started to grind my gears a little bit. And I want to know what the people think and what the community thinks also. But before we get into that, I want to say hello to everybody that is here in the live chat. So welcome in, everybody. Hope you are doing well. Happy Tuesday to you. Uh, good to see you, Dark Dragon. Good to see you, uh, Barkley. How's it going, Kim? It's me. Welcome in. Lady Dash. Good to see you, Maya J. How are you? Leaf73. Good to see you. Welcome in. Darcy. Hello, Darcy. Hello, Cooking College Days. Welcome in. Susie T. How's it going? Welcome in. Yai Gaming. Good to see you as well. Analasa. Analasa. How are you? Welcome in. Mystic Dreamer. Good to see you as well. Ruth. Hello, Ruth. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Elliot, how's it going? Jennifer, how are you, Jennifer? Keisha, welcome in, Keisha. Maddie, hello, Maddie. Welcome in, too. Minka, how's it going? Minka, Amanda, how are you, Amanda? Excited because this will be my first live catching a live, or first time catching a live. Ever pretty much went from watching day one of Grave Gravekeeper to this. Oh, very good. Big ups to you, Amanda. How are you? Good to see you. Executor, what's going on, Executor? And hello, Cassie. Good to see you, Cassie. Belinda, welcome in, Belinda. Shay, how are you, Shay? Hello, Angel. Welcome in. T, Chloe, hello. Welcome in, both of you. Welcome, welcome in. And uh, Pandy, how are you, Pandy? Welcome in, Pandy. Carbonated Crew Tongue, good to see you. Welcome in, yes. Unlightened One, how are you? Good to see you. Hello, Lisa, good to see you as well. L Dunk, how are you, L Dunk? Who that dude? What's going on? Welcome in, too. Um, Alexander, hello, Alexander. Anti Meow, hello, hello. And Diane. Welcome in. And everybody lurking, smirking, and possibly working on this Tuesday. Hello to all of you. So, with that being said, there is a little bit of discussion, and I kind of want to talk about it. Hang on, let's put the game on the screen here real quick. Uh, hang on, wait for it. So, I have... <clears throat> so, I have a question for chat for you here. Um, this is a discussion that I kind of want to talk about and kind of maybe throw some ideas, theories, and things like that. Now, I wouldn't normally talk about this with any other games. Uh, I mainly I mainly kind of keep to, to most of my games. But 
because I'm talking about this, this really shows how much I really care about this game, about Coral Island, how much I really enjoy this game. I've mentioned it already that Coral Island has been one of my top three favorite uh, farming games of all time. And I think with a little bit of critique and maybe uh, theories and things like that and things that we can maybe... Uh, predict in the future or maybe be right or wrong about things and maybe discuss it i think it's very important with a game like this i wouldn't waste my time energy or breath if uh, i didn't care ultimately i love the game and we are continuing to play the game but i have a question and i have some discussion to talk about and that is very simple somebody in the chat can you answer me why did we end up why did we end up resetting our saves for 1.0 now the whole thing is 1.0 came out there was some new content that came out and some of that content needed to be refreshed and we needed to do a new game plus correct so that we could you know i guess go along with the story with the inputs of different dialogues cutscenes, and things like that for um for the rest of the game right so what do you think and why do you think coral island needed us to reset our saves now there's a really specific reason why i'm bringing this up um and i'll get into that here in a sec because it has to do with the roadmap of next year they said they were doing it from scratch why did we reset i have no idea it seems the same to me so far hello spork how are you good to see you so some people seem like the 1.0 release has been kind of the same so far right um there has been adjustments to the cutscenes. Um, we can confirm that I think the main quest is still to be determined as far as um, there is a limitation to where you can go with the main quest. At least is what this is what I'm hearing uh, from the community is that you get spoilers. Spoilers. You get to a certain point in the main quest and then it kind of stops and it's a work in progress. So, yeah. The turtle talks to me now. Okay, there you go. 1.0. Turtle talks to me now. It's completely... Somebody says it's completely the same game. I heard that they had to release ASAP and Humble was going under so needed the funds or would have to drop publishing. The devs just said the new saves weren't compatible with the old files from here going forward. All new updates will be compatible with 1.0. Now, that is a very good point. That's a very good point. All saves and updates will be compatible with future updates, or at least your save files will be compatible with future updates. However, things change in development, and we've already seen that kind of in the past. Disney Dreamlight Valley said they were going to be free. They kind of went and changed their mind on that. So things change during development. I understand that. Now, the idea of people saying how uh, maybe the game was a little bit rushed out uh, for 1.0, maybe because of funding, maybe because of pressure from the publishers. Now, Back when this game first dropped in early access, I predicted this game would be released in March of 2024. Obviously, that's five months earlier earlier than what I predicted, but we still don't have a Switch release. And as far as the PlayStation and Xbox releases go, they have been nothing short of a buggy mess um, since the launch. And Stairway has came out and said, yes, we've kind of messed up and we are trying to fix this as much as we can. So with that being said, it's just kind of a very much uh early 1.0 now we have this giant roadmap in front of us for 2024 and it does include quite a bit of stuff but the whole point is why do we have to or why did we have to reset the one point or why did we have to reset our saves for 1.0 right now my idea here 1.0 doesn't mean finish we'll probably have many updates going forward yes and no 1.0 should be finish and then additional stuff should be added i think personally i think 1.0 does mean a finished product things later on will be added on on top of that now if the main quest isn't fully um finished that could be a problem right we seem don't you seem you seem to be able to start a relationship with the merfolk still have locks on their friendship levels and that kind hey, of brings subscribe thanks for subscribing judy that brings me to another thing that i'm going to bring up here they had an early access, some things that don't have it now in 1.0, and I think that is the point why they needed to reset the save files. And that's the point that I'm getting to. We have, on the roadmap of 2024, I think a pretty big update coming. 
<laughs> it's not the, you know, Halloween outfits for the NPCs. It's not the babies that will come. It's the revamp and restyle and restorytelling of the merfolk, right? So with New Game Plus, I had talked about how New Game Plus was not a feature and it wasn't listed as a feature, but it kind of felt like it was supposed to be a feature where New Game Plus was to uh, keep your monies and start a new save for early access to full release. Now, full release players wouldn't actually get to use New Game Plus. Only early access players would. Now, when they do decide to update the merfolk and the merfolk kingdom and redo all that how is that going to affect our storylines if we right now go through merfolk right and we do what merfolk is available available to us right now how will that change when it is all reworked and redone will we have to start a new save to be able to access the new merfolk content in 2024 I don't know if anybody's talking about that or if anybody's realizing that. Yes, they have said that they don't plan and there is no intention of restarting and having to restart any of your save files in the future, but things change in development, right? So I don't know how that's going to happen. Merfolk, new update. How will that translate with your old saves? I don't know. I really don't know. If we have to reset again, I'm going to be so annoyed. I'm just saying, it's a possibility. I don't, you know, they say it's not going to happen, but I'm just trying to figure out how they can revamp the merfolk and not make us reset our save files again. Yeah. Isn't this stuff for 2024 other than Switch release things for stretch goals from stretch goals? They really should have waited until next year, though. It's... <laughs> it's a very thing, right? It, it, it's a very thing. So it should continue where it left off. But if they reset saves again, pretty sure people will riot. I, I mean, I, I agree. I think people would. But I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. So let me go real quick. And I'm going to try to wrap my head around it even more. I'm going to try to read word for word on the roadmap of Coral Island about the Merfolk Kingdom. Right? Let's read about it. Let me read about this real quick. Just so I can kind of clearly give you... Uh, like an idea of what they what they are saying for the roadmap ahead for at least this merfolk because I think it's a pretty big deal so in 2024 obviously they're going to have children they're gonna have children they're gonna grow up and we're gonna get the savannah access right that's gonna come in 2024 merfolk romance merfolk relationships merfolk festivals merfolk folk storylines and rebuilding merfolk kingdom storyline that's revamping i'm sorry if i don't take this i mean i'm taking this as an entire wipe an entire revamp of the merfolk kingdom i don't know how that's going to translate to your saves right now i could be wrong but that is everything that they have said rebuilding of the merfolk kingdom storyline and doing the entire merfolk storyline with the relationships the romance and the festival i don't know i don't know i feel like that's a pretty big deal a pretty big game adjustment because i feel like at least the merfolk are probably i would say maybe a third of the game a fourth of the game they're a nice significant you know they're a significant piece of the game so if you're going to redo that entire thing how is that going to be from when that releases? Now, the Merfolk stuff could release in March. It could release in June. It could release in September of next year. Any of these things. So it's just something to think about. I don't know if anybody has really mentioned this, but do I think or is there a possibility that we will get a reset save again in the future? Even though they said that won't happen, obviously things change. I don't know. Something to think about, right? Yeah. Something to think about. We don't know. We'll have to see when that time comes. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> but I don't know. It's it's kind of interesting in, in indeed. 
To leave it vague and not to spoil it for others, it is nice that they added more options for the One of Us quest. Mmm, very well. Mmm, very, very good. They could, have a, they could have a split story where people who have already done one line would keep along that line but blend into an overall line, but new players start another line. End line could be same. Okay, okay. I like these ideas. I thought the additional Merfolk uh, content was going to open romance, let us do farming underwater. It shouldn't require another game. Well, it, it, it it's very vague on it, right? It says there's a lot. There's like four pieces of what the Merfolk uh, revamp is going to be on, right? So as far as how much you can get with the Merfolk in the 1.0 now, how does it translate, I guess, to all this revamping and things like that? Right? <laughs> Does this fact make you not want to play Coral Island anymore? No, no, that doesn't make me not want to play Coral Island. I just want to talk about it because there's just something that we could prepare ourselves for, right? Absolutely. It's not like it's going to happen. It's not like it will happen, but I am interested to know how it will happen. And like I said, uh, the game had a very rough launch on console. Um, we know that. Stairway knows that. They've acknowledged it. When it does eventually release on Switch, you can probably guess there will probably be same problems, right? But hopefully, you know, it's not as rough as this has gone. Yeah. If another reset happens, then surely they will offer something to help speed up the process. Could be. Could be. Maybe they will just reset the ocean with the merfolk part. And see, if you say that, maybe they will reset the ocean with the merfolk part. If that was... And if that is true, why did we have to reset our entire farms from early access? What did they add in 1.0 that changed so drastically where we had to start over? Right? Yeah. Yeah. If it's an additional uh, additional storyline, an additional um, storyline, NPCs, areas, and things like that, I mean, with 1.0, what was added? I think what was added was the... Well, there was additional items that were added. There was cutscenes that were added, right? Like, I don't know. How do you say it? Like the... I guess you could say like character cutscenes, events, character events that were added, right? I'm trying to think of like major things that were added that could potentially make you reset your save file, right? It's interesting, indeed. <laughs> Notice on the menu, Leah has a mermaid tail. <gasps> Wait, what? She has a mermaid tail? I don't even see her below waist. Yo. They want to reset for the memes. <laughs> they reset how the museum donations work now to there's collection pieces you go, you get for donating so many things. Yeah. That's another thing they changed on the whole uh, collection things. Yeah, maybe the way they originally wrote it didn't allow to sub create these new features so they could add on and edit portions separately. And I hope that's the case. I really do. I really do. I was kind of more or less like, why did we have to set reset 1.0 for our early access? And can that affect us going forward with other major storylines, whether it be the Savannah, whether it be not really children, but Savannah and like the merfolk those were the two things in my head savannah and merfolk savannah not as much as the merfolk but the merfolk kept, i kind of blew up in my head because i was like that's a lot of things that they're doing for the merfolk that we have yet to see and i really hope that there isn't going to be like some oh by the way if you want to play the merfolk save file you will have to restart a new save file and maybe that was the reason for 1.0 having uh new game plus features like oh new game plus could potentially be used in the future as well. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, it's just a discussion that I was more or less thinking of, or I guess something I was thinking of, and I wanted to know what some of y'all think. But yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on, shall we? Let's do it. It'd be great if they completed the main story for 1.0. Once you reach a certain point, there's nothing more to do. Plus, I feel like the release was rushed. Yeah. I do too. And there could be a lot of things that we don't know about that. Um, there could be publishing pressure, uh, there could be development funds, um, and you know, I, 
I thought they were going to release it with the Switch alongside, you know? I don't know. But they didn't. That's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Resets are irritating. If I were designing, I would add additional asset storylines to allow merging of already playing players to a new storyline. New players wouldn't see that. And I'm just going to take it forward. Like, this stream, this video, we'll take it in history and we'll sit like, okay, we'll see what happens when these updates come out next year. I guess we can only just wait and see, right? Anyways, what's today? Summer, Saturday, 6th? Okay, let me hang on. Let me get my birthday notepad out real quick. Yeah. But it's always nice to kind of think about things. Um, and I really... Whoops, I went the wrong way. I really love this game. I enjoy this game. And I always want there to be improvements of this game. And I always want there to be the best for this game um, because I, like I said, it's one of my favorite farming uh, sims out there. However, it kind of sucks when sometimes developers aren't as transparent as you would like them to be, but maybe they can only be transparent to some degree, right? Obviously, there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of complications that's really out of our hands, and we can only just kind of sit back and see what happens. But we're back! Hey! We're back! We're back again! Yes, yes, yes. Back in, in Coral Island. That's right. That's right, baby. <laughs> Imagine if Dreamlight also made us reset with the upcoming release. I know, right? Hey, you know, like I said, things change. Disney Dreamlight Valley changed. They changed their mind. They said they were going to do something and they didn't do exactly what they were going to do. Right? And they went back and it's fine. You know, it's whatever. It's disappointing as hell for some people. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, what are you going to do? Really, ultimately, you just got to move on. And just enjoy it. Just enjoy the games that you enjoy. You know? Just enjoy the games you enjoy. Now, wheat. I don't know if we needed wheat for anything in particular. We were growing it. I think it's actually going to be for future... I think we were going to use the wheat for future pieces of our farm. That's right. Let's put that away. Might sell these flowers. We have some already uh, put in here. So I'll hold on to those and I can sell the rest at least. Yeah. There we go. Uh, is today somebody's birthday? No. The eighth. Eighth is somebody's birthday. There we go. Hey, Freya. How you doing, Freya? What's happening? What's going on? Good to see you. Let's take a look at our goals here. Uh, papaya. We don't have a papaya. We got that going. Visit the band Smiles. Let's see if we could go do that right now. One thing I did, I got the idea from Can's birthday list, as is I wrote out some not all yet of the offerings for the goddess. Hold on to your monster loot, Cans. You'll need it. Yeah. Yeah, the monster loot can be kind of hard to kind of, you know, get. Um, but yeah, definitely hold on to your monster loot for sure. Oh, a nice little cutscene here. Hero. Hero. Ah, I love this little basement. Isn't this the introduction to um is it Axel, I think? Yeah, Axel. I can't remember. Kira says, Cans, we've been expecting you. You did good defeating those monsters. Come, let's start your initiation into the guild. Hey, Douglas, how's it going? Hey, Toucan, how's it going? It took me so long to get the bat wings. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Look at, wow, Senja. I don't, yeah, I do remember Senja. I do remember that outfit. And that's why you never bet against Kira, foolish Mark. All right, all right, I'll leave your coins here, Kira. I wasn't expecting Garden Rake here to pull it off. Still, you're sure about this, Kira? Garden Rake got through more monsters than you did in your first month, Mark, so zip it. Any objections before we start? Another Greenhorn. I haven't even acknowledged this, Mark boy. Oh, I forgot he's up there. He's up on that tree. That's so cool. And what's this? You got a farmer doing an adventures? Um, do what you want, Kira. It's your branch. Thank you, Gio. Uh, I appreciate it. Hey, Eva, how are you? Senja and Reina need to be dateable. But I see, I see you, Lisa. Mark, bring me the sword. I see you, I see you, Lisa. Thank you, big boy. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> Thank you, big boy. Are you ready, Cans? I am. Oh, we're getting knighted in. Do you wish to become a member of this guild? I do. We only have three rules you must uphold. What is that? 
First, defend humanity from the evils of this world. Second, help those in need if it, it's in your capacity to do so. And last, have a smile on your face as you adventure. Oh, all right, very well. Knowing the three rules, do you pledge your allegiance to the Band of Smiles? Then I welcome you to... I don't have a choice. <laughs> then I welcome you to the Band of Smiles. You're now one of us. One of us. One... Oh, there's Axel, yeah. <laughs> Fresh meat, the best kind of meat. Ah, no. <laughs> hey, Melissa, how are you, Melissa? What's going on? One day, we shall spar, you and I, preferably, at a different chapter, though. Perhaps where Senja and I are from. Savannah? Question mark? It's decided you'll visit us sometime. Savannah? Question mark? Boy, enough chit-chat. This sword, put it back, above the fireplace. It's a decoration. The BOS badge grants access to the BOS guild rooms. Nice. Cool. We got that all situated and taken care of. Very good. Let's go in and see what else we have on our list here. Um, yeah. Quality fruit we're still doing. We have the blueberries all on that. Uh, healing the coral site. Free the water giant and go to the giant village. Oh, yeah. That's right. We got to go to the giant village. Let's go do that, too. I haven't changed my outfit in some time, so it's interesting. Maybe they'll be dateable in the savannah. Ooh. Ooh, I went the wrong way. I just realized. Let me go back. Dateable in the savannah. I'm really excited to see what that is. Really excited to see. I wonder if it will be something um, similar to how Stardew Valley did with like, uh, what was it like the desert town? I guess you could say. I forgot the name of the freaking town. I haven't played that game in a hot minute. At least I haven't been in that part in a hot minute. But um, yeah. I wonder if the Savannah, I mean, Savannah, to me, when I think of Savannah, I'm thinking of like, like Australia kind of vibes, but who knows what it's going to be. Probably not desert. Desert would be desert. I don't know. Is Savannah considered a desert? I mean, Antarctica is considered a desert, you know? I don't know. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. We're back. Oh, smiley face on that. It's human here. Yeah. Here, human. Come, come, chieftain. Forgot human can't enter village that like giant can. So Grog, come oh, open a way for human. Do this dance. So good. You adorable little guy. Um, human, uh, no can watch. No, hu no, human, no can watch. <laughs> human, go back. Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Hey, Dora, wanted to ask if you ever considered trying Sunhaven. I've considered it, but I have not. Yeah, I have not uh, played it just because of I heard that it's a really big grind. Yeah. Not enough. Human have to close eyes. Hey, Molly. How you doing, Molly? Thank you for gifting a membership out. I appreciate you. What's going on, Molly? Good to see you. Very kind of you. Did human open eyes? Um, I did at the end. I'm sorry. Hmm, okay. Gronk still did it. So I guess not matter much. Way open now. Come, human with Gronk. You got it. You got it, baby. Boom, 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 boom. That grog house. Oh, very well. That water giant house. That chieftain house. That fire house. That wind house. Never mind. That, that's fire house right there, right? That house chieftain will tell. All right, very well. Grog, no tell. Too sad. 
Now I've heard that there's actually a big bug uh, with this little area. I've heard that there is a mass duplication kind of bug when you are enchanting your items and you can get mass duplication uh, through with like your artifacts and stuff. Um, I'm not going to be, if anybody knows of the glitch, I won't be exploiting the glitch or anything like that. Ah, Grog, forget. Here, Grog can help human. Bring tools to Grog and Grog will make better. But just a little better. More stronger, need more giant. Who's next birthday? Good shout. Okay, that, oh, Goom Goom human. It's on the 8th. I don't know who it is, but it's on the 8th. We'll have to check. Gain access to Giant's Village. That's right. There you go. Tool enchantments. Yeah, so there we go. So I know I said like earlier, uh, not to spoil. I wasn't going to spoil anything, but in case people, you know, I mean, now we're here, right? I, I can't not not spoil it. But if you are not to this point in the game, the enchantments, this is where you would put your um, your uh, artifacts, your duplicate artifacts. Instead of selling them, you would actually use them to enchant. So there you go for that. Uh... Is there anything else we need to do here? Let's see. Tool enchantment. Enchant your tool. Uh, right, 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 right. I would like to enchant my pickaxe, if you don't mind. Enchant the tool. No energy drain. Very well. Axe. Extra drops. Very well. Thank you. Scythe. There we go. Extra drops. Very well. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Hey, subscriber. Thanks for subscribing, James and Yon. Appreciate that. Would have would have to know how it triggers to exploit. True, true. Hey, subscriber. Mark is currently winning the popularity contest on Twitter with Ravio coming second place. I'm surprised about Raphael, but he's on my list. Really, Mark is winning, eh? Wow. Wow. Never thought. Interesting. There we go. Water. Swift swing. Oh, that's good. That's really good, actually. Okay. We've done did that. Thank you. Thank you. Claim that. Thank you. Okay. I think that's good for today on that. Uh, Relationship-wise, we'll go to birthdays. They are Sam. Sam is the next one. Yeah, Sam's the next birthday. Cool. All right, goodbye, goodbye, my giants. I did not know that about these enchantments, but I'm so excited to get to this point. Yes, and if you haven't, make sure you are keeping your duplicate artifacts that you get from, uh, or, you know, when you donate uh, the uh, the museum. If you get any duplicates, save them. Save them for that. Yeah. I don't have blueberries yet. No, not yet, not yet. Very close, but not yet. They are currently growing. Um, 11 a.m. Um, you know what? We'll go to the ocean. We'll go to the ocean. Yeah. We'll check out the ocean. Oh, my love. Father was the one who taught me how to surf and sail. Well, not personally. He was too busy for that. But he was the one pushing for lessons in camps. Would you like a freaking flower? Hibiscus? This is marvelous, darling. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Have a good one. Take care. Okay. Whoops. Um, go diving, yes. We got to work on this. We got to work on the heel sites, all right? We got to work on it every, uh, you know, every chance that we get, so to speak. Every free time, if it's not mining, then it's definitely this, right? We got to... Make sure we're using our free time. Oh, shit. Very well. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not saying Nina is the one. And I'm not saying Nina is everything. But I'm just saying I would like to get to know her. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's very much when Nina leaves, right? Then it's like, ah, I gotta go back. 
Eva is Danielle approved though. You're right. You're right. She is, isn't she? She is. I forgot about that. You are right. You are definitely right. It's lucky we don't have AI dating like in Rockstar Simulator. Otherwise, Nina would run a mile. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, you're right. We are spoiled. We have a lot of choices ahead of us here. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just, it's kind of like The Bachelor, you know? I don't know. I used to watch The Bachelor. I used to watch The Bachelorette. Stopped. Stopped years ago, though. Um, I don't know. Every season, it seemed like it was getting crazier and crazier. And then before you know it, none of these relationships ever worked out. And I was like, well, why am I watching again? If this isn't going to work out anyways, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Can I see everyone's likes and dislikes? Um, I don't, I, I think I can when you, uh, when you give them something so you can like see what they hate. You can see what they love, like dislike and all that, but you have to discover it. Yeah. Yourself. I see Pablo's in the chat. I see team Pablo. I'm torn between Theo, Raphael, and Kenny. Ooh. What about Kenny? Kenny seems like a stand-up guy. Yeah, or you could look up the wiki, I guess. Yeah, you're right about that. Oh, frick me. Come on. I got this one over here that I need to pop. Oh, yeah. I always forget about the merfolk, too. And the Mervo has a couple of people, a uh, couple of romanceable. I think there's two, right? Two romanceable people. I think it's is how it goes. Yeah. Mine would be Sira, Waku, Theo, and Merman. Ooh. Samira, Samiru, Samiru. I can't say his name. Samira is the only merman you can romance. What about, what's her name? Daniela? Daniela Merfolk? In your romance? She. Denali. Is it Denali? Hang on, let me eat some food real quick. Mm -mm. Here we are. Is that all that you got? That is all I got. Well, frick. Have a good one, El Dunk. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Is that it? Did we do it? I think we did it. Did we do it? Yeah, we did it. Two females and one male. Wait, who's the... Th Wait, who's the second female? Am I missing a second female? There we go. Nice. And then the other one is right down here. Hey, Yurok. How's it going? How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I have this crab. I think I have this crab already. Pretty sure I do. Pom-pom crab. Yeah, I definitely have that crab. Stamina's low. Hey, Sierra. How you doing? Good to see you. Princess Mirajani, Mirajani. I still harvested so much that I can't put it all in the shipping bin. <laughs> hey, Yurok with the 25 months. Holy hell. Thank you for the 25 months of support. Appreciate that. Big ups to you. Very much big ups to you indeed. Big ups to you. Indeed, ED. Indeed, ED? Indeed. Uh oh. Indeed, ED. Hey, and thank you for the 10 gifted memberships as well. Coming in hot there. 25 months and 10 gifted memberships thrown out. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that chat go. Holy moly. Thank you very much for that. That was very kind of you indeed. 
Thank you for the 50, or sorry, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. And uh, on behalf of those 10 people, we say thank you very much, Yurok. I see some new people picking up some new memberships for the first time. That's right, I see it. There's a lot of new people that picked up new memberships for the first time. Nice, very good, very good. Big ups to you, thank you for that. That was very kind of you. Very kind indeed. Um, let's see. We'll place the cosmos in there. We'll put the little bit of crabby crab in there. I have to do something with that coffer here in a sec. Uh, nope, not in there. I need to do a little bit better organizing, admittedly, but we'll have to see. Tomorrow I could go to Pablo, though. Uh, so, also, there <clears throat> there was also... I can't remember where I read this. I think I read it in the in the Discord that we have. <clears throat> that we have. I don't know why I'm having a hard time. Oh, we were joking. Um, in the Discord we have, I saw that people also are... Um, oh, yeah, we wanted to do bronze bars. People are also... We were talking about how the... The weather is random. I even saw in the comment section that uh, the weather is random too. Some people have like only had two rains in two seasons. So, and I've heard also some people have three rain days in a row. So yeah, I guess the only guaranteed rain day is the third of spring. Other than that, it's pretty much random, uh, you know, throughout the rest of the year. Tomorrow's sunny, by the way, with all that being said. I will go to bed. It will be Sunday. Earn 20k. Oh, very well. Cool. I would like to do, and I would like to get my new pickaxe running. Yes, yes, yes. You just got two back-to-back -back days of rain. Okay, that's awesome. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, let's go there, there. Now let's get, what is this? One, wait, no, damn it. One, two, three, four, no, 25. 25. A five. Okay. And then send it off. <laughs> yes. Laugh like a madman and walk away. Uh, was it 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The 10, I think it's 10. Yeah, 10 for each. Glass. Sorry. Is it 10? Yeah, it is 10. And Neurok with the 20 freaking 5. For Danielle and Bella. That is so sweet of you. Thank you very much for Danielle and Bella. That was very, very nice of you. Very nice of you indeed. Thank you for that. I will definitely relay the hey, message. Subscriber! Absolutely relay relay the message. And thank you, Paulina for subscribing as well appreciate that hey check it take a look at this um our 20 percent is it the 20 percent 25 percent 10 percent whatever the percentage it is for our wa water soil uh stay true stay true stay true yes 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 which means technically i could take it on to the uh to the mine shaft because it kind of is feel like a rain day but i'm not going to actually i'm going to because it's Sunday, I was gonna go see Pablo, but never mind. He is, uh, he's closed on a Sunday. Well, that just sucks. All right, well, let's go work on the mine shaft a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we've worked on the new mine shaft yet. I don't think we have, have we? Can't remember. Can't remember. We might have. We'll have to see. Have we gone into this yet? Okay, we have. We have. All right, cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I got home and was greeted with an entire box of tissues, knocked off a table, and every single tissue pulled out and ripped apart. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that a, was that a kitty cat that did that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that a kitty cat that did that? Hmm. Was that a kitten? No. It was a kitten, no, wasn't it? Hmm. Alright. This is a pretty big little bit of a dungeon here. We'll go 
I forgot it was the light blue ones, right? The light blue ones. Get the light blue ones is what I've been told. Let's to see. I believe it was a kitty cat and a wiener dog. I think I have some co-conspirators on my hands here. <laughs> I love it. Take them to court. Guilty, that is all. <laughs> Headed to Memphis to see to my sisters for Thanksgiving. Just wanted to sprinkle some cheer. Love ya. Keep up the good work. I appreciate that, Yurok. I really do appreciate that. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with the family. And enjoy your time in Memphis. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks up. Big ups to you and thank you for the continued support over these years. Really appreciate that. Very much so. Ever since like the King of Retail days, right? Ever since, you know what? I think you're yeah, I believe your name is on my wall as it stands in my office right now, too. So, yeah, very long time of support. Appreciate you. Do you see me not going for the uh, blue rocks? I know. I'm a rebel. What do you expect? It'd be a lot easier, too, though, if I had an upgraded pickaxe, admittedly. I did a purple one. It was the purple one. Should I do the blue ones first or the purple ones first? I'm guessing purple. That's dark blue. <gasps> what? Uh, what? That's dark blue. That's purple. Don't even get me started. That one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. That's right. That's right. That's right. That. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah. That one. That's purple. <laughs> oh, that one you say. That one you say. Oh. Very well. There we go. There we are. Oh, I don't know what color that rock was. I don't think it was purple or blue. I think it was like a regular rock. Nonetheless, I'm in. 13? I don't know if I'll have enough energy to go past 15. Let's see here. I heard people say, always go for the rocks near the entrance, so I'm going to try it. I heard someone say that too. Last time we played. And as soon as I, as soon as I read that out loud, when somebody said that, I hit the rock the farthest away from the ladder and it was the hole, <laughs> but let's give it a try, shall we? <laughs> okay. Oh, no, that was near the hole or that was near the rope. Oh, no. oh. No. Mm. And it was blue. I didn't even get to see the color. Let's see. I clear out all these rocks near the exit. Anything to say? Huh? Anything to say? I don't think Kans has anything to say. I don't think he does. He really don't. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Let's do it. Uh, let's eat some candy while we're at it too. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. The water cave is hard. I cleared almost a whole level before finding the hole. I'm going to stick with the with the with the rope game here, yeah? We'll see. I got no discrimination against color, so uh, I'm not going to uh, choose a specific color. 
I'm going for all the rocks near the exit. Here we go. Chat knows best. Chat thinks they know best. Chat knows best 87% of the time. 13% of the time, Kaz knows best. Look it. Sadly, it's not always near the exit. See? That's the 13% coming in. Haven't reached the water cave yet, but in the earth cave, I found the entrance near the entry point hitting the small rock about 90% of the time. <laughs> Would this count near the count as near the exit? These ones right here? I mean, they're close to it, kind of proximity wise. Often the blue stone or the purple stone. That's 33% of that's no blue stone and purple stone is like 66% of the freaking mind jab. Yeah, no wonder it's often those. Right? So go for those first. Wouldn't that just equivalent to going with the gray ones? Because that's the other 33%. It'd be the same thing, wouldn't it? We all have different theories. It's true. I'm telling you, man. It's just an RNG game. That's all it is. It is always under the rock you hit when the hole appears that it is only guaranteed. Wait a sec. It is always under the rock you hit when the hole appears. That is the only guarantee. My theory is that always near a monster. <laughs> I love the new theories. That works for all but two of the floors all the way down. 37 or 38 is where you have to clear almost the whole floor. Let me also take a bite of candy. Where am I at? 17? I could possibly do a rope or two, maybe. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah, I know. He's not saving his candies like he used to. I know, I know. I know. It's only because I know how easy it is to get the candies now. So I'm not like too like bent out of shape on it like I was before. If I coded it, it would be that every rock has the same possibility lower as you progress progress through the levels than it is up to RNG gods. That's what I just assume it is. It's exactly what you worded it is how I assume it is. That's what I've been saying the whole time, but people don't believe me. I don't even know what color that rock was. What was that? Hey, Lulu Pie, how are you? You got your veggie soup and ready to relax with the stream. Oh, baby. That was a blue rock. I think you're just lying to me at this point. There we go. I'll go for the blues and the purples. I will. We need to get some like, because I'm far from it. I'm far from Coral Island professional here, but we need to get some Coral Island professional and ask them what they think about this theory of holes and rocks and hitting and frequency and things like that and likelihoods. You know what? I would like, if I'm talking like, if I'm talking professional Coral Island goer, I'm calling Sarah. We need to ask Sarah. Sarah, when you go into the mines, do you go for specific rocks or do you just go for any rocks? Right? I need to ask Sarah. That's what I need to do. You think it's the areas by the monsters? Ask G. 
gives. <laughs> Go for the monsters too. You need their loot. Yeah, I do. I mean, I could come back to them anytime I want. Kind of playing a, a, a time game with the uh, checkpoints and the uh, actual time of the day. But yeah, I could. I, I definitely can come back and uh, and get their loot. Not too worried about that. I'm worried about the if I'll get to the next checkpoint in time or not. She hits the smaller rocks, then requires less hits first. Well, wait a sec. What about like these ones? Because these are these are all big rocks, right? There's no small rocks in here. What rocks does she go for in this one? Uh, oh, thank God, I can do two. Woo! Send me down. Oh, the triangle ones are the less hits. Okay. Running out of energy and time. Okay, 20, baby. Amber shielded ring. Nice. I don't know if that's always that. I think that's different, maybe. Auto block. Hell yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. You can also slow down time when you're in the mines. I do that when need to go down 10 floors. No, 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 no. If I did that, that would be like cheating by me. <laughs> Not saying you are cheating, but I have moral obligations here, I guess. That I have to abide by unwritten rules, gray areas, things like that. <laughs> There we go. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Calling me a cheater, eh? <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> We're actually getting quite a bit of water essence, though. I know we need earth essence for deposits. We're going to need monster loots for deposits as well. I will do pickaxe tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sam's birthday as well. Pickaxe tomorrow, upgrade. Then we'll crack these open. I'll see what I have as far as... Um, what do I have? Uh, Frick, what do I have? Oh, yeah. Uh, ingredients to make uh, candies and stuff like that. Tomorrow's going to be sunny, of course. Of course. If I coded it, I would have 50 rocks per floor. 2% 2 2 chance of each rock giving you a hole. Destroy a rock. Each remaining rock increases to 3%. So the, so the less rocks, the higher chance. But to throw a twist, it would be the rocks further away from you would get a bonus percentage in close, closer to less. I have never liked RNG too much. Wow. I think you just blew my actual head right there. Sarah did post a mining video yesterday. I haven't watched it though. Yes, cans. I cheat on you and watch Sarah too. No, don't. Well, first of all, don't say you cheat on me because you don't. Second of all, Sarah. And by Sarah, let me just say. Is no disrespect to any other of the other content creators covering Coral Island. Sarah is like the best Coral Island content creator out there. So you're not cheating on me. I give you full reign. I let you have the keys. You could take the keys, take the car, drive to her house, have a good time. Because when it comes to Coral Island, top tier, cover you. She's got it all. No disrespect to any other content creators doing anything, but she's she's up she, she's up there. Yeah. That's why I mentioned her. I was like, well, she's she's straight up the professional in, in, in Coral Island. That just is what it is. We need to be asking the professional, not me. I just sit here and complain half the time. That's all I do. There we go. Hot peppers, hot peppers for you, hot peppers for me. I think this is our first time getting hot peppers in too, yeah. 
I don't know if I guess hot peppers are wait are hot peppers hang on a sec time out <laughs> what are they considered they're considered a vegetable okay hot peppers are vegetables very well I had to think about that for a sec wait a sec <laughs> there we go Sarah says to go for the blue rocks fine if Sarah says it then I'll do it fine <laughs> Sam, I'm coming to you with some candy, buddy. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. I got you. I don't know what Sam actually likes fully. I don't know what he is like all in on for. But yeah. Watching these vids getting me more interested in getting back into maybe designing my own game again. Oh, very good. Tried years ago, but had to quit. Maybe give another go. So thinking how I would do things. Oh, very good. That's awesome. A little bit of inspiration juice. Yeah, I love it. Inspiration juice. I think I kind of talked about it in my last stream this morning. I had I've had trouble sleeping for the last couple of weeks and the last night really kicked my butt. Um, I fell asleep at like 8 30 p.m. And then I, um, we'll hold on to four of those. Um, uh, I fell asleep at like 8 30 p.m. And then I woke up at 12 in the morning and then I didn't get back to bed until five in the morning. So I took like a couple hour nap before my stream this morning. I'm just having a very hard time, uh, sleeping. And it's mostly because I, 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 I watch let's players. I watch YouTube. Oh my god i watch youtube right and when i'm watching like people play games and i'm watching let's play series and things like that i get inspiration i get ideas and then i can't go to sleep i'm like yes i need to do that let me see if i can make these candies real quick um oh wow yeah we have quite a bit yeah nice okay um pepper wise we'll have to go to the yeah yeah to the temple goddess right because we need to offer this i just don't i guess we could do a regular one right yeah regular pepper should be okay i don't know if i need a bronze pepper or not i don't know the answer to that i think it's just a regular pepper i'll double check sam loves blueberries damn it at least I don't, I mean, it would have been nice to have blueberries in by now, but yeah. <sighs> yeah, the hot peppers really go good in the mason jar. I don't think I have a mason jar quite yet. No, I don't think I have one. But yeah, the mason jar hot peppers, very good, very good. Yeah, it's just a regular one. Okay, cool. Blueberries and then a bronze sunflower. That's what it was, a bronze sunflower. Got it. And then we'll go back home and we'll probably sell the rest of the peppers because i don't have a mason jar i might be able to make one i don't know yet can i make a mason jar yet hydro mason jar okay we have a mason jar we can make some yeah why not sure why not why not yeah that seems okay there we go might as well and then we'll put I don't know if the quality of the crop matters going into the mason jar, but I'm going to go ahead and put a gold in there and we'll run it that way. We'll put a gold. Oh, wait, can you put more than one item in there or more than one pepper in there? How many can you put? Oh, three. Yay, yay, yay. I don't think it matters, does it? The tears? I hope it doesn't. Does it matter? I don't know. Hey, the man, how's it going? First time I caught you live. I absolutely love this game big stardew valley fan oh very well good to see you the man how's it going i can mix tiers is it efficient enough to mix tiers if i do one gold two bronze will that be good as three golds or no it will come out the same same product here does it matter oh shit okay oops sorry about that well in that case um 
just do bronze then, right? They do. It's worth more. The tears mix. Oh, wait. I'm hearing same. I'm hearing not same. It will come out the same tier as the one you put in. One gold, gold, two bronze. You'll get one gold, two bronze out. Okay. Oops. The corresponding. So if I do three gold, will I have three of them? Three gold or no? Interesting. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Never mind. All right. Very good. That makes sense. All right. Thank you. Mm, have you tried writing your ideas down and then maybe using white noise to help you relax? I have. I have. I've tried different methods. Typically what I do is I, um, I, I fall asleep with headphones in because I fall asleep listening to, um, let's play series on YouTube. So I have like, anybody ever seen like the, um, the Roku remotes with like the headphone jacks? That's what I have. And I just like listen and fall asleep to YouTube videos that way. And then I'll fall asleep with the headphones in my ear. But yeah. What the hell was that sound? Huh? Heard something outside. Okay. Let's go to Pablo. We got to go to Pablo and get our uh, thing. We got to see Sam and all that. Give him a birthday gift. All the above, all the freaking above. Oh, an Aaron? What's the Aaron for? Corn. Do I have corn? 12 days? I'll have corn, right? I think I'm growing corn. I'll accept. I'll accept. Yeah, 12 days. I got it. Hello, hello. Dude, it sucks because, like, Danielle, she falls asleep in like 45 seconds. I'm like, damn it, dude. It takes me like 45 minutes. Ah, this is a great birthday gift. Thanks. No problem. That's the best price I can give you. Take it or leave it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Whatever. My goodness. What does the table that the monster gives you do? The table that the monster gives you. Table that the monster gives you. I don't know if I know what you mean. Hello, Tamika. How are you? Talking of birthdays, it's yours on the, on Sunday. Hey, nice. Nice. Very good. Happy early birthday. Coming through. Wow, that was the crampiest hit of all time. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Do I have anything to donate? Stone. Bronze bars. Okay. Upgrade. Oh, I need wood. Crap, I forgot the wood. Hold that thought, Pablo. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Can I chop trees down in the town? I don't think I can. I don't start you, you can. I don't know if you can in this game. Maybe it might be. Have you tried using a sleep mask? Yes. It has built-in headphones. Not with this not with headphones. You bought my son a pair? I have uh well my partnership ga gamer advantage they sent me a sleep kit they sent me sleep mask uh they sent me sleeping supplements and things like that the sleep mask that they sell and that they have it's good it's nice it's comfortable and all that it does its job um the supplements i'm not a big fan of i don't like their supplements i don't like their dietary drink uh, sleeping supplement it, it tastes awful 
and it didn't really do anything for me. But I have a sleep mask. <laughs> There we go. That's what I have. I need to get the wood. 20 wood. 20 wood. There we go. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Hey, Isabel. How are you doing? Good to see you. But no, I haven't had like a headphone or like a, a face mask with headphones in it before. Never did that. Melatonin doesn't work. Melatonin just makes me feel bad. When I wake up, I feel more tired. So, I mean, I mean, when I'm desperate, I'll take a melatonin, but then I'm like, I feel awful in the morning. Like I'm so tired. Hello, Lily. It's the perfect weather for diving. Wouldn't you agree? I would. Nina, up for a game of volleyball? Yes, yes I am actually. Thanks for asking. Even though I'm out here in my freaking overalls. Hey, there's the man with the plan. <laughs> you harvested any pineapples yet? I don't know. You tell me. Or there's something special when grilled. Very well. Hey, Glory Stars, how are you? Melatonin gives me nightmares. Melatonin gives Danielle nightmares, too. Yeah. She'd do that as well. Danielle does a little, she does like the, you know, the, the snoring thing. And I'm a very, very light sleeper. She's a very heavy sleeper. So like, I have to wear earplugs anyways. So now that I've gotten like these noise cancellation earbuds to watch, to listen to like TV or listen to YouTube, I got that going on. Uh, upgrade tools. Pickaxe. Yes, sir. Thank you. And then I think I can actually drop off some of these bronze, uh, bronze bars at the temple too. <sighs> Kenny, your fourth husband. My God, Maddie, you devil. My Lord. How many do you have wrapped around your finger? Jesus. My lord. My lord. Melatonin knocks me out for two days. Oh my god. My brother takes like the liquid high dosage milligram and I'm like, geez Louise, dude. Billy, oh, so fun running into you here. Hey, what are you doing? You caught me. Anyway, I'm trying to, I'm trying something out. So there's this old legend about a goddess who lives in the water on Coral Island. I heard it from my dad. Water? Like the ocean? No, not the ocean. I asked him the exact, uh, that exact question. It's the lake, I think. Don't tell anybody, but I've been throwing flowers around this lake since, gosh. <laughs> yeah, I've done it in a bunch of different spots. Still nothing, though. I know it's silly, but all fairy tales are kind of silly, right? Anyway, I thought I'd throw some flowers in... Uh, and next time, I thought you said you had hey, been subscriber. throwing flowers. What did you throw in before? Thanks, Ben, for subscribing. Appreciate it. Well, I didn't know if it would actually work, and I didn't want to waste flowers. Oh, very well. Oh, is it 4 p.m. on the West Coast? It is 4 p.m. on the West Coast here. How you doing? Big shout out to these people. Hang on, I'll get to y'all in a sec. I tested the idea by throwing in some grass. I thought it might work, but it didn't. But don't worry, I started using flowers today. Maybe that's what it takes to summon the goddess. What do you think? Maybe. I hope I didn't make the goddess mad by giving her grass. I don't think you did. Hopefully not. I wonder if that's like a tribute to like Harvest Moon or something. You know, when you throw stuff into the, uh, into the, into the, into the, into the water, right? For the goddess. By the way, um, want to say a big shout out. Uh, to the people that re up their membership. Let's see. Thank you for the three months. Valentine, thank you for the three months as well. Skylar Marie, thank you for the 14 months. Uh, DIY to surf, thank you for the three months. Bedtime, thank you for the 13 months. Donna, thank you for the three months. Jason, for the 28 months. Big shout out to you, Jason, for the 28 months. 
Dream Slayer for the three months and Captain for the 17 months. And uh, Molly Joe freaking Snow, thank you for the 13 months for the now we're in business. Also, Lizzie, Lizzie, how you doing, Lizzie? Good to see you. Big shout out to you. And thank you for becoming a member. How are you, Lizzie? Oh my gosh. Careful, Bonbon. Bon. Appreciate that, Lizzie. Big ups to you as well. Mm -hmm. That was very kind of you, Lizzie. Very kind indeed. Thank you for being generous and thank you for becoming a member. Was it this one? Oh, this one? Oh, this one? Oh, I don't have it open yet. Frick. Oh, can I get this going soon? Let me see. Uh, 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 nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Quicker I can get the chickens, the better. Is what it boils down to. Yeah, the quicker the chi we can get the chickens, the better. Absolutely. I'm good. Glad Bella's doing well. Yes, me too. I'm glad she's doing well too. Okay, you'll throw that in there, that in there, uh, that in there, and the compost can be thrown elsewhere. In there. Cool. We watered everything correctly, yep. Yeah. Okay, so maybe the chicken coop could be our next big pull in, maybe, possibly, we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and make some uh, room here on the, uh, on the farm, for sure. <laughs> Mm. Have a good one, Sassy Mom. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Anna! Oh my god, I finally caught a live stream. Oh my lord. How are you, Anna? Good to see you. <laughs> Welcome in. What's happening? There we go. What the heck just happened? Wow, that was pretty impressive. It's like a one shot hitter right there. What the heck? Can't even see. Yeah, there we go. I'm good. How are you? How's the game going? It's going great. Going great. I'm doing great too. Yeah. Oh, he goes so fast at chopping now. Very good. Yeah, it could be freezing outside and we're sleeping with the fan on. I'm just, uh, you know, getting up in the blankets. Even though I am more colder, I get colder, I think, easier than Danielle, maybe? I don't know. I think so. That's a mighty hit, I know, right? <laughs> Crazy. Incredible hit. Here we are. Go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is random, but I'm visiting the States next week. What do wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. First things first. You're visiting the States? Like you're visiting first time to the United States or not? Yeah, or no. What would you recommend at Chick-fil-A? When I go to Chick-fil-A, um I get I get the I would get the grilled nuggets. The mac and cheese is pretty bomb. And their original chicken sandwich, whatever the original chicken sandwich is called, I forgot what it's called. That's what I would recommend, those three things. Grilled chicken nuggets, the original chicken sandwich, or the chicken sandwich deluxe, and the uh, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is pretty damn good. Yeah. Spicy chicken is good, but damn, it is spicy. <laughs> it is very spicy. <laughs> Very spicy indeed. There we are. At least for me. But it's good though. Yeah, it is good. Whoops. There we go. Spicy chicken deluxe is good though. It's just it's it's hot for me. First time in the US from Canada. Oh, that's exciting stuff. And you're doing it when? Next week. Oh, the week after Thanksgiving. My lord. 
Tomorrow's gonna be sunny. Cool. Uh, the next birthday is on the 13th. Yep, next birthday is on the 13th. We have a festival coming up soon. Yeah, but the mac and cheese is pretty damn good. There you go, Sam. 1,200. Wow. Cool. Need to try the grilled club sandwich on a white buttered bun with honey and roasted barbecue sauce. Oh, that also reminds me. Their fries are pretty damn good. Make sure to get their fries. And then I like to get like all their sauces because I kind of like all their sauces. They got different kinds of sauces. But yeah, I go I go for the for the different kinds of sauces. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the look of the freaking sunflowers. They look so good. So cute. Favorite, favorite flower. My favorite flower here. Love it. Looking all great. Oh, these aren't ready yet. Could have fooled me. There we are. Basically get one of everything on the menu. <laughs> Almost, yeah. Danielle likes to get the brownie things. I, I, I think it's like a brownie. She likes to get the brownie there too. Like there's a brownie. But the mac and cheese is pretty good. I would say their mac and cheese is probably better than KFC's mac and... Well, definitely better than KFC's mac and cheese. There we go. Damn it, we're back on the food topic now, aren't we? We just always find the way, don't we? We always don't know how to get, get get our way back home. Yeah, we need that bronze sunflower. That's true. Very true. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's the one. All right, we'll hold on to five. Um, hold on to five. Maybe sell the two. Um, yeah. We'll donate the last one, yeah. Hey, subscriber! Almost, almost forgot to water the banana tree. By the way, thanks for subscribing. Holy hell. Um, Won't be able to pronounce that one, but thank you for subscribing nonetheless. I apologize for my uh, illiterate behavior. Here we go. Karacha sauce, all gold. Aha! Wait, can you put the sunflowers in the mason jar? Let me know. Can we make like some sort of like sunflower oil or something? I don't know. Hey, Lucifer, how's it going? What's going on? They beaten up last week. It, I was romancing Pablo and Kenny. I was going to marry Pablo, but end up marrying Pablo. I was going to marry Pablo, but end up marrying Pablo instead. So I'm taking a break from the game right now. How are you? Flower are for the bee. Oh, the beehives. Yeah, you're right. The beehives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. Now we just need the blueberry. We got that completed. You're right. The beehives. Only honey with sunflowers. That'd be kind of cool if you could make like some maybe sunflower oil or something. Some rather. That'd be kind of neat. Um, I think it's time to go pick up our pickaxe, right? Yeah, it's time to go pick up our pickaxe. We'll take the long route. We'll walk so we can kind of see what's going on. If there's any forgeable items on the way there. It's not always beneficial to, you know, fast travel. Plus, you can say hi to Zara. The cavern just got more interesting, isn't it? A mysterious gate opens and a statue goes missing. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh yeah, that's right. Save the canolas. Save the canolas. This is a shallot. Save the canolas. Wait, I can put the canola in the mason jar, yeah? You can do that at least, right? Uh -huh. And up. Yeah, KFC is very expensive, I agree. Read a few articles because that effect with melatonin was interesting. Too much makes you groggy next day. They said, uh, talk to your doctor in tiny doses limit to a few days, not only daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make sriracha. I haven't experimented with the different things you can make. I have no idea what I'm doing. What is good to make in there? 
Hey, that's the beauty of it that you don't know what you're doing, right? Then you learn. Then you know, just throw something in, see what happens. If you can't put it in there, great. If you can't, well, now you know. No canola is for the oil press. Okay, oil press. I didn't know there was an oil press, to be honest with you. Hello. I'd like to get this back. Thank you. There we go. There we go. I should have brought another tool here. I could have done axe. I should have done that, actually, now thinking about it. I have the money to do it, so might as well do it, right? I could be saving up for a chicken coop. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? I think the... I think the festival's on the 12th. Pretty sure. You know what? Let's go upgrade our axe. Maybe our scythe? No, let's go upgrade our scythe. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Let's go upgrade the scythe. That's a better idea. For the underwater, too. Oops. Yeah, we'll do that. Hey, Joy. How you doing, Joy? You can also make canola honey. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I only just unlocked the bee house and I'm in fall and I got the uh, titum flower too. Good. Yes, the titum or the, I, I don't know if I say that correctly, but the titum flower, anybody gets the titum flower, um, definitely hold on to that and use it for your, you use it for the bee, ha uh, bee house. Yeah. That's like the best way to use it. I learned that from chat multiple times playing this game. I'm going to throw these in here. If you don't mind. We go whoops now i am assuming it's 20 wood as well for the axe so i'm taking 20 and 5 and we'll go on our way canola great for oils since don't have to grow it yes that's a good point an offering too oh oh that's right it is an offering huh i remember now yeah that is it is an offering yeah mm -mm. oh what the hell was that oh it's a hibiscus <laughs> it just looked different oh is the clothes shop open on a tuesday i can't remember what days are they open close on tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays wait tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays Right. Okay. Okay. Remember that. Remember that. You probably won't. But you can tell yourself you will. You doing well? How are you? I just started my vacation and awaiting my new Steam Deck. Hey. So your vacation set, you got the new OLED Steam Deck? Yeah. My brother got the new OLED Steam Deck too. I talked to him yesterday. He's like, guess what I did? I said, what? He said, I got the OLED. Even though he already has a Steam Deck. He's like, yeah, I got the OLED. I'm like, all right. Flex on him even more. No, <laughs> that's awesome. Your Ron Scythe will be ready in one day. Thank you. Hey, Stasia. How are you? It's good to see you. The one thing I've learned while playing these games is that I hoard everything. Yes, yes, yes. These kind of games, yes. Hoard it all. Hoard it all and you'll be uh, good uh, later on, right? You have a single bug worth 630 coins? What bug is that? What bug is that? Like, you're talking about like an insect bug, yeah? Mm -hmm. Someone I stand in front of at the blacksmith to open and then I realize it's Sunday. I'm so bad at remembering when stuff closed. I, I guess like the one thing, I mean, you could go like this. This is like one reminder also. Um, I don't know. You could just like hover over them and they'll tell you whether or not they're like open today or not. Instead of like walking all the way over there, you can just be like, oh, are they open today? Or is Pablo open today? Oh yeah. Okay. Instead of like waiting and walking over, but assuming, you know, oh, you know, it's just a regular day. I'm gonna go see Pablo. Oh crap. It's a Sunday. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> That's the worst. Uh, let's see. I could do. Um, can I put wheat? in it I don't think I can right mason jar no fruits vegetables and jam milk into butter okay got it I might as well try might as well try come on now I'll do it 
Eh, I'll do, I, I won't do it. No, I need it my, possibly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're okay. We're fine. We're fine. Don't overdo it, forehead. Don't overdo it. Yeah, that's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right, let's keep clearing. We got to get ready uh, for eventually. Whoops. We got to get ready eventually for the... Um, what is it? The, uh, the the chicken coop and all that. Yeah. I've never had a Steam Deck before. I'm so excited. It's an early Christmas gift from the husband. Oh, yes. That is so amazing. Nice. So this is going to be your first experience with the Steam Deck. And it's the OLED one. Oh, baby. Time to be alive right now. You're going to just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to... Yeah. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to have a good time with that. So I went with the scythe first, and then I'm going to do the axe next. Because, again, the whole diving underwater thing. But, I mean, eventually we'll get this all upgraded anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Oh, crap. Whoops. There we are. Mm. Living your best life, Joy. That's right. Um, yeah, there is a glitch with the uh, pet um, thing, I think, right? There's a glitch with the animal fest, so be careful with the animal fest. Just know that. I believe there is. Um, I think it's if you bring your pet to the... Uh, you bring... I, I, I think it's you bring your pet, right? You bring your pet to the, uh, to the festival. Um, there's something bad. That, I think you have to restart the day or something. There's like a known bug or something. So just... Don't do that, I think, is what we need to do. But yeah. There is a known bug with the animal festival, so be careful. Oh, I forgot the acorns, and I think I'm out of energy, though. The pet race bug for you had to wait for it to time out. I did all the animal races except the pet one, which is glitched. Okay, there you go. There you are. Um, This one, nope. That one. Yep. Okay. We'll turn in. It crashed your whole game when you did it. Oh my lord. Are you playing on PC, Nana? Or are you playing on um console? Forecast tomorrow is gonna be sunny. Very well. Nobody's birthday tomorrow, so we don't have to worry about that. Next one will be on the 13th. We're turning in a little early, but I don't want to waste any of our any of our stuff, uh any of our food or anything like that. So we're going. You're on PC? Okay, very well. 1300 That's a nice How much is that? 285 95 a piece Okay It's something I guess 95 for every gold Karacha Sriracha The sauce Karacha makes me sound like I'm saying crotch Yeah I don't want to have crotch sauce now Come on I ain't about that life What are you talking about? Here we go These are still not done. Can you give me that crunch sauce? No. Too spicy for you. You can't handle the heat, baby. <laughs> I can't get past day 14 without it crashing. I play on Xbox Cloud. Really? Without getting past day 14 without crashing. My lord. My lord. Go. Just pop in and say hello. How are you, Amanda? Hope you have a good day at work. Or good night, depending on night or day shift, right? I'm assuming night shift, right? Night shift. Let's go get our uh, scythe. 
And what we will also do is get our axe going too while we're going. So let's not forget about that. Let's get that rolling. Twenty. Five. There we go. Cool. Are people having issues on Xbox? Which version of Xbox is this? Now I've seen people in the comment section say which Xbox version, and I've seen some people say Series X, I believe. Um, but yeah, I I, I want to know more if there's anybody that's doing on different ones too. Like the long way around, maybe hibiscus. Mm, 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 mm. I like his outfit. Sierra's outfit. What a beautiful day for a swim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can play on the couch, play on your bed, as well as the games if you want. And you can play it docked if you want, too. If you want to play it anywhere or on. You can even play it at your PC or if you have a desk or anything like that. You can do it anywhere almost, right? 9 a.m. All right. We'll sit here for a sec. Open up. You have a good one too, Amanda. You have a good one too. Uh, ax me. There we go. I'd rather spend my money right now on upgrading our tools than um, really kind of going for the chicken coop early on. Just some, just a way I prefer. I don't know. Your husband and you both got the limited edition OLED Steam Deck. I got it for him for Christmas and he got me one for Christmas. Oh, I love that. Nice. Awesome. We also got our two boys Nintendo Switch OLEDs. This is a very expensive Christmas. Sounds like a very expensive Christmas. Uh, two days. Two days until the summer or the animal festival. Uh, let's head down to the pier. Actually, no. Yes. Yes, let's head down to the pier. Sorry. Boom, boom, boom. Head down to the pier. Slowly but surely upgrading our tools. No problem there. We'll go down and clear out some more space. More trash. Uh-oh. Here we go. <gasps> no! My love! How dare you hurt her! Ah! 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 A jellyfish stung, stung me. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh no, oh no. You give me the name, the detail, the address to this jellyfish and I will whoop its jellyfish ass. I'm serious, guys. I feel like I might faint. Pee on it. Wait, 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 wait. I know this one. Saw it in a Paul and Ann's show. You need to uh, pee on it. I believe that was an episode of Friends. And I believe Joey did that for Rachel, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Ew. If it must be done, it must be done. I'll take one for the team and do it. Does this mean he's like very like Joey? <laughs> but it was Monica and Chandler. Frick! I thought it was Joey, man. On second thought, I don't think I can do it with all these people watching. Pee on me. No way. Where's the lifeguard when you need one? This kind of looks like a... This looks like a Rachel outfit too, right? Like the hat and everything. Is it true about peeing? I think it's just an excuse to, excuse to pee on somebody. No need to get your trunk in a twist. Forget the pee myth. <laughs> Was Monica and Joey? Glad that's cleared up. Wasn't looking forward to peeing in public. Relax. We just need vinegar and warm water. And don't scratch the sting, okay? Yes, the pivot. The pivot cutscene is fantastic. I love that reference. It's a very good cutscene. Yeah. Here's a bottle of vinegar. That should help. When in doubt, pee on it, I guess.
Now, let's get this thing sorted with a vinegar bath and a warm water dip. All right. It's Monica and Joey. Joey couldn't do it, so Chandler ended up doing it. Shoot. There we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> All right, there's a nuclear holocaust. I'm the last man on earth. Would you go out with me? <laughs> I've got canned goods. <laughs> hey, you guys, take a look at this. <laughs> Check this baby out. Dug me a hole. Excellent hole, Joe. <laughs> oh, no, no, my hole! No, no. No. What? Hey, what, what subscriber! Don't oh, fish thing! No, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts! <laughs> Yeah, and I'm a little tired from digging the hole. <laughs> oh, damn the jellyfish! Damn all the jellyfish! Is that Nina? I gotta do something. Well, there's really only one thing you can do. What? What is it? You're gonna have to pee on it. <laughs> what? Gross! Don't blame me. I saw it on the Discovery Channel. You know what? He's right. There's something like uh, ammonia in that. It kills the pain. Well, forget it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that bad! <laughs> If you want some privacy, you can use my hole. <laughs> I guess that really didn't give us a freaking answer now, didn't it? But yeah, there you go. I guess it, uh, later on in another scene, it gives us the answer. Thanks for subscribing, Sailing the Seas. I appreciate it. Big ups to you. <laughs> good old friends. That's right. Good old friends. Hey Melissa, how are you? Good to see ya. They do, they do, they do talk about it. Yeah, they do talk about it in another scene. That's definitely Nina, though. Well, actually, now thinking about it, uh, Monica wasn't even wearing like a Nina outfit. She was kind of very traditional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does the "I'm stuck" button do? Um, I think. It well, what's it say? No, I'm not gonna click it. I think it um, I think it takes you back to your house in case your character gets stuck, like it teleports you. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Chandler peeing on Monica is where, is where he she first started falling in love with him. Oh, you would really do that for me, sweetie? Or when they go to... What is it? When they go to London? Oh my god, it's so funny. That's a good episode. When they go to London. Oh. You click the unstuck button and it takes you to the hospital where you lose a day and have to pay. Oh my god! God, that's ruthless. What happens if you legitimately get stuck and it's not your fault? What the heck? Oh my Lord. I just thought it would take you back to your house. Oh my goodness. They say you lose a day and you have to pay. Ha ha ha. Not our fault you got stuck. <laughs> what? My Lord. 
he was legitimately stuck oh my goodness man that's hardcore stuff right there oh i'm sorry what are you supposed to do with that oh it's so it's it's like butter now cutting through all this stuff oh it's like butter it's like butter oh so good i guess i can go harder huh yeah definitely could go harder here we go that's tough man oh gosh they play you dirty how much money is it is it like a percentage or is it like a flat rate there we go here upgrade my sickle i already upgraded my sickle i just got done upgrading it there we go you are not happy about that there we go i don't know how but i got stuck with the broken railway near the cavern look like i was stuck in between the gap or something oh hmm it was like a thousand gold oh my lord this open up here nice can i go farther down no stranger danger over here you got it partner Stranger. Oh, it's the turtle. Yeah, the turtle. The turtle. Hello, turtle. I don't know what the heck they're doing outside, but they're making a lot of noise outside. I have all the seasonal saplings in the greenhouse. Now I don't have to buy them each year. Oh, very good. They give you rewards now you now when you free them oh the turtles do they give you rewards oh that's awesome nice dude i'm so glad we have this i can't imagine what we would do with like an, another upgraded cycle or sickle cycle <laughs> that this is so helpful Oh, baby. Have fun with that. We're burning through it now. Uh, let's actually eat something real quick. There we go. I don't know if I need this for something. No, I don't need to donate it. I guess I can eat it. Uh, I don't know if I need to... No, no, never mind. Never mind. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. I wonder if that opens up the pathway to this way, yeah? Open? Yeah. There you go, turtle! I did it! Hooray! Grantle, you don't understand what's being said. Oh, that's right. Can I give you something? Can I give you a flower? You've received a scuba snack from Grantol. Nice. Cool. Just two? Nice. I appreciate that, buddy. What a nice turtle. Cool. I dig it. 6 p.m. Pretty late already. Let me see here. Uh, we'll go there. Yep, yep, yep. Knock, knock, knock. I can't access this cave right now. That's fine. Okay, to the right. Everything you own in the box to the right? No, it's to the left. In the closet. That's my stuff. Something, something. Please don't touch. Right? Is the Rihanna said that? Here we are. Hello, Nina. How are you? Welcome in. 
As if I was two minutes behind on the stream. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that was Beyonce? That was a Beyonce song? Oh my god, I thought that was a Rihanna song. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That was a Beyonce song, wasn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's see. Um, down to the right, down to the right. Getting 7.30. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have that bad boy right there. Let me grab that. Let me grab that from you. That's so spooky. There we go. A Yeti crab. I don't think I've ever seen that in this game. That's pretty cool. There we go. Awesome. You can eat it or dry it for an offering. Wait, what can I eat or dry for an offering? Eat it or dry it for an offering? There we go. Oh my gosh, I have so many coffers. Oh, the urchin. Wait, you can dry it? How do you dry it? You can eat it or dry it for an offering. Is there like a special a special way to dry it? Yeah. Dehydrator. Oh, okay. You get you unlock the dehydrator. See, these are like those are things I'm not I I don't know about. I didn't know there was a dehydrator. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Didn't know that was a freaking thing. I'm burning through these heal sites though. My goodness gracious. This new scythe is really showing up right now. I think I needed five sea salts for the temple too, as well. Ocean version of the mason jar. That's a good way to put it. Okay. It's a good way to remember it. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Up we go. You get a dehydrator and can put all the oysters, etc. in it. Oh, what does that do? Does it make it more valuable and stuff or? Is it like for recipes or is it just to make them more valuable? Sea salt can be used in the mill to make gourmet salt. Okay, very well. It does make it more valuable. Okay, okay, good shout. Let's do that. That, that, uh, that, that. We have so many coffers. Six of these bad boys, my lord. Boom, boom. Boom. Then we'll keep on to the rest. Not in there. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Okay. Okay, I have four sea salts, technically. Well, three regulars. 72 bronze kelp, my lord. My lord. Have enough time to go to the museum? I'll do it in the morning. No big deal. Okay. Here we go. Going into day 11. Will it rain? Please be rain. There's a weather warning for tomorrow. A thunderstorm is approaching. Let's go. All right. That works out. We could spend this day in the mine shaft or we could spend this day underwater. It really doesn't matter which or. I think I might keep my momentum on the... On the ocean, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't, I don't know. Maybe. We're, we're knocking it out pretty damn good. Thunderstorm though. Oh, the blueberries are ready to go. And the peppers. All right, I need a hibiscus. If you have any, please uh, send it my way. Gratuity awaits. Walter. Uh, Starlet Town residents, don't forget tomorrow's the animal festival. You got it. I do have a hibiscus, yeah? Do have a hibiscus. Take that. It's raining freaking sideways. Incredible. There we are. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
And we have blueberries. Blueberries are in, finally. Good stuff, good stuff indeed. There's the corn. Corn's doing its thing. Blueberries are doing its thing. Or sorry, everything's doing its thing. Um, I will... I don't know what's more valuable, blueberries or uh, hot peppers when it comes to mason jar. I guess I can test out the theory, right? Whoops, let's not do that. Um... There we go. Let's do that. Uh, that. Yep. Yep, yep. Hold on to six of these. Nope. Yep. Hey, Diamond Cat, how are you? I've been playing this game a lot and got disappointed that I again ended up getting the beehive glitch and needed to restart the game? Wait, whoa! Whoa! The beehive glitch and you needed to restart the game? Uh, I beg your pardon? I just remind you that Lily's birthday is coming up after the Harvest Festival. Yes, don't forget, no calendar. <laughs> right? No calendar. I'll make some blueberry jam. What's the problem with the beehives? I'm sorry, what am I missing out here? On? Oh, I forgot to drop off uh, 12 silver. Blueberries are more valuable, but not too much. Okay, but not by too much. Okay, okay. Copper red pepper is equal to a normal blueberry. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Gotcha, gotcha. Dun, dun. Oh, Walter. Walter, right? Walter! Hibiscus! Crash game. Oh! Oh, a catfish. I think I need that for the temple. Close. 9 a.m. Okay, we'll wait a sec. It's Walter, right? Yeah. The beehive stopped producing and you need to restart the game day. Wait, the game day? Or res... Wait. You restarted the game day, not restarted the entire game, right? Or... Did you have to restart the whole game again? The game day. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Okay. The game day. All right. Because people were like, wait a sec. Hang on. Time out. Are you telling me there's a bug I can potentially run into that has to restart the entire game? People were like, whew. Okay. Game day. Game day. Not the game. Game day. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Where is Walter? I should probably have just checked before I walked in here, huh? We should have. That's on my end. That's my fault. Walter, where are you? Oh, you're right outside. Got it. Thank Frick. <laughs> if there's a Frick to thank, I thank that Frick. Because that's a Frick I need to thank. Thank you, Frick. Uh, Where are you? Where are you going? Oh, he's in the greenhouse. I'm sorry. He's inside the greenhouse. I'm thinking all the fricks today. Uh, hello, Walter. Another animal festival tomorrow, huh? Last year's was interesting. Let's see how this one turns out. Very good. Uh, I have this for you, though. Ah, thank you. No problem. I got you going now. Uh, was that it? Oh, yep, that was it. Did he give me the reward? I guess so. I didn't have to redeem that one. It's locked, but it smells like fertilizer from here. Very well. Oh, this is a nice little greenhouse, though. I like it. All right, let's go to Pablo. Let's go get our tool back, our axe. I guess the next tool that we could technically upgrade would be the hoe. Oh, look at your satchel, your purse, Anne. If you need to brush Bon Bon's hair tonight, we'll make him all handsome for the festival tomorrow morning. Oh, that's so cute. Nice. Hey, Maya J, you just started Coral Island. Oh, my lord. Enjoy the freaking ride. Hey, can anybody confirm if with the Steam sale going on right now, the autumn sale, is Coral Island on sale or no? I didn't check this morning. I did not check. I forgot to check. Broken blade? 
clay vessel, chipped pottery jug, gold earring, scrap, ancient map, more scrap. Thank you, buddy. I got my thing thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, boop. That, that. There we go. It's not on sale. Okay, so it's still twenty nine ninety nine. Interesting. Okay. I thought at least it would have been like ten percent off or something. I don't know, but it did just recently go, you know, full release. So. Go. Biscus. Uh, let's go to the temple real quick because I think we can offer this catfish if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh, nope. Yes. 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 Nice. And then we'll take this back down to the pier. Actually, um, we'll go to the museum and then we'll go back to the pier. Kind of doing this backwards, but it's fine. It's a rainy day. I should maybe take advantage of, you know, the mining and the, and the diving, but here we are. It's fine. Whoa. Hello. Watch out. Ben coming through, buddy. Blade. We got a reward for that? No, we did not. Uh, that, 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 that. That's a good dump. I've fed my guinea pigs their veggies and eaten mac and cheese. Now time to play Coral Island alongside the stream. That's what I have to do after my stream. I have to feed them their friggin' veggies. I gave them hay before I, uh, before I started streaming today. And I know they're upset. They're like human. Pardon me. You did not give us any veggies. And I know they are upset. It's either we give them hay, veggies, or dry food. Their little kibbles. They like the little kibbles. And then we put little flowers in them. I think Amanda sent us flowers one time to put into their dry food. We definitely did that. They love the flowers. They're nuts about the flowers. I think flowers are like an like I know veggies are like an like a treat to them, but like I think flowers are like also like the ultimate treat for them. Mm -hmm. They wake up a storm. You love it though. <laughs> Every time I open up my refrigerator, they just think uh, they think they're getting some lettuce. Did I forget a reward in the museum? I'll have to go back and check. I think you might be right though. I used to let my piggies outside to eat clover flowers. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Daniel would love that. My girls are picky and don't like flowers, but they love dandelion salad. Ooh. Oh, do you have all girls too? We have all girls. My piggies used to love eating dandelions. They lived a long life. I mean, I think, uh, I think, I mean, guinea pigs, I mean, they're only really, their lifespan is only like three to five years. Right? I think like that's their average lifespan. We've had our our pigs for about well, we've had our pigs for three years now. We got them all around the same time. Two girls, Kiwi and Sylvie. Sylvie after the woman version of Loki. Oh. Oh. Well, 
we have Stella. She was our first guinea pig. Um, she was named in rhythmic to Bella. Then we had a uh, we had a piggy named Peach. She passed away last year. Uh, she was named after the fruit because she looked like the color of the fruit. <laughs> Then we got a skinny pig named Eleanor. Named after potentially a librarian whose name is Eleanor because she looks like a librarian if she had glasses on. And then we got Jack. Jackie. Not named after Jackie from Roseanne, but named after the uh, baseball player Jackie Robinson. Because we got her on Jackie Robinson Day. But we only have three of the four now. Yeah. They're high maintenance though. I, I have to say, guinea pigs are pretty high maintenance. They're definitely high maintenance animals and they are definitely, they're definitely a chore to have and they are definitely a, I wouldn't even say an expensive animal to have. Um, They are an expensive chore animal. Hey, subscriber. That barely shows you any love. <laughs> You had to like earn their love, right? Thank you, Liz, for subscribing. Appreciate you. It's hard. Have a shallot. Do guinea pigs have ear problems a lot? My friend has one and it always in the vet with ear aches. Um, I've never really had ear aches with my guinea pigs. Yeah, I've never had ear aches with mine. Um, I have had problems with the guinea pigs, but they're not like earaches. Um, yeah, it's very common though that they have like, at least the female guinea pigs, they have like, uh, like cyst problems, mostly like ovary cysts if you don't get them fixed and things like that. And, um, you know, stuff like that. Plus you have to also live in an area where, um, Veterinarians will operate or do things for guinea pigs. Not every veterinarian specializes in smaller animals. So you also have to be in an area that, you know, can do that stuff. And if you aren't, then you don't really, you know, you can't really help them in need, so to speak. Especially when they're selling them at masses at like Petco and stuff. All right. Very good. Very good. Sometimes guinea pigs can like fall to victim of like, you know, a, a, a young child wanting a guinea pig and then um, the parents don't really know a lot about how to take care of them or how to raise them and things like that. And then eventually before you know it, um, it's not the child's pet anymore. It's the parent's pet and they're like stuck with the stuck with the guinea pig and then they realize how hard it is and how much of work it is to actually take care of them. Stuff like that. Oh, very good, very good. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're right. The UTI is, yeah, most common. Have a good one, Susie. Dude, take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. You go to bed now and we will talk to you again later. Appreciate you. Take care, indeed. Have a good rest of your night. There we are. There we go. Okay, we got the turtle now, I think. Let's go. Oh, baby. We never wanted to get any male guinea pigs because I've heard they like, even like hamsters, like, right? They like multiply super fast. <laughs> You've received silver kelp. Oh, very good. Thank you for the silver kelp. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. All right. There we are. 
let's see here. Go down to the bottom. Can we? Is that open down here? It is. Oh, very well. We'll put the uh, we'll put the anchor down here. Oh, it is not. Never mind. <laughs> then hopefully we can go down that way. Yeah. Hopefully we can go down that way then. Hey, Elaine. How are you? What's going on? Good to see you. We didn't know one was a boy and they bred like, well, guinea pigs. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. For the longest time ever, we thought one of our guinea pigs was a boy. Only because she used to like do stuff like a boy would do, if that makes any sense to the other guinea pig. But I think that's just a dominant territorial thing more than a whoops. Wrong gender. <laughs> so excited you're playing this game. You love it. Oh, very good. Glad you love it. Hey, and now we officially got the five salts. Yeah. Rumble strutting and trying to mate the other. Yeah, that's 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 yeah, exactly. Trying to mate the other. Definitely the the dominating type. Yeah. Some people don't um, also realize that it's you, you need like a big cage for them too. Like the tiny little cages they sell at like the pet store. I mean that. I hate to see like the guinea pigs in those things, right? They're so small. You need to like have like some sort of custom uh, cage to roll around with them. You need to build them one. Um, we'll hold on to that. There we go. Kira and Jack don't celebrate birthdays. Are they not on the list then? Or are they on the list? Or they, are they on the calendar? Or are they not? Oh, tomorrow's the festival. So we already know what's going to happen tomorrow. There we go. Whoa. Hey, there we go. We've unlocked the E rank. New seeds at the store. New clothing at the store. Pet adoption is now unlocked. Uh, tier 1 R&D at the lab. Unlocked fruits. Unlocked ducks. Unlocked sheeps. hey -o. Love it. Nice. Big, big ups there. Hooray! Ranky! Ranky? That sounds weird. There's a festival running today. Consider checking it out. I shall. I shall check it out. Big money. Big money, big money, big money. No whammy. Stop. There we go. Oh, you only need two salts for the goddess? Oh, I thought you needed five. Oh, shoot. Mason says, do you know how to make guacamole? If not, there's a simple recipe for you to follow. Hope you like it. Nice. We got guacamole. Fashionados, 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 tortillas. White Flamingo will be opening an indoor boutique, the heart of Starlet Town, in a few days. Let us help you find your next outfit, Antonio. Farmer Cans, I've been working on an automation and quality of life device. They will make things easier for you on the farm. Here's a prototype of the auto fertilizer. That's right, the auto fertilizer. Um, we have, I've never actually used that before. I've kind of held off on that for, uh, until like further down when I get like the farm kind of like squared away. It's been a while since my last letter. How are you doing there, sweetheart? We miss you every day. Ashley is giving me a hard time lately. She refused her favorite food in her out most nights. We'll take her to the vet soon. We made you some clip-ons, your favorite. Cool. Yeah, this is a big fertilizer. Uh, we'll set that to the side for now. Okay. Um, you know what? Might as well just kind of have this going. Since we have it, let's get it going. 25. Get more stuff in there. There we go. Brick. Nope, wrong one. Uh, they're not on the calendar. Okay. They should have the canned sunflower shirt in the game. That would be sick, dude. I would love that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You will need five salt for the goddess. Okay. Okay, so they don't have it on the on the on the calendar, so they just don't celebrate it in at all. Okay, very well. Very well. Very well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The birthday, the day that we were born into this world. 
Didn't you know? Because we were born on this day that we... Uh, we uh, indirectly ask for gifts. Or we expect gifts. Do we though? Some people are like that, dude. Some people are like, it's my birthday this week. You better have get me something. And if you didn't give me something for my birthday, uh, we're not talking for like two months. Oh, I hate that behavior so much. <laughs> I do. I hate that behavior so much. Ugh. Ugh. My Lord. It's like the world revolves around them. It's incredible. Animal Festival. Come back between 9 a.m. Alright, we're very close to 9 a.m. Yeah. I understand a woman doesn't give her age, but what's Jack's excuse? <laughs> I used to date this girl. Uh, she was... Their family was... Uh, family. Her and her family were Mormon. I think that, yeah, their family were Mormon and they didn't celebrate holidays. So when the holidays came, it was like, shit, what do we do? Do I, do I say something? <laughs> I don't know what to do. They didn't do like Christmas. They didn't do like, um, they didn't do like, um, birthdays, Halloween's. They didn't do Thanksgivings. They didn't do Easter, I don't think. I don't know what they... I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Look, you're asking me to remember something so far... Oh! So far, so far a long ago. Look at that bonbon. I got to take a picture of that. Also got to take a picture of that. Best believe I got to take a picture of that. Cock fighting? No, sorry. This is cock dancing. Bull riding? I can get on that. Oh, very good. Animal Festival. Very cool. Very cool. Love the little animals. Look at the little chicken. Little duck. Duck with a hat. Is that... What is that? It, bigger duck? No, it's a goose. Yeah. Bigger duck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Why are they having cat fights, man? What the heck? Uh, what's the deal with that? Am I the only one that thinks that's a little weird? <laughs> okay. They have cat fights. Nice. Cool. Love that. We'll do the bull ride. Absolutely. Um, chicken registration. We got no chickens. We got nothing over here. We do have a shop though over here somewhere, right? Yeah, we do. We do. Hey, chicken suit. There's the chicken suit. Lord Majestic Bush. Sir barks a lot. Hmm. Very well. Very well. A lot of cool bushes you can get. <clears throat> I don't need any bushes right now. Ah, Luke. Yeah, there you go. Hold it. Butter, butter. Look here. Look here. Oh, that's so cute. Hello, Suki. I might do the mechanical bowl later. Not now, though. I just had some snacks. Very well. Lucy, or Macy says, look, Steven, Kans is here. Oh, oh, is that your little guy back there? Yeah. Macy has nothing more to say today. Oh, all right. Very well. Steven, how dare you? <laughs> I heard on the radio today that 40% of all people will act, stick to not have to go to Thanksgiving with family. Some will even schedule a vacation, get out of it. Uh, yes, that is very true. Uh, happened many times. I have done that. Family has done that. Parents have done that. Oh, can't be there for Thanksgiving. I'm going out of town. I've done that personally. Danielle and I have bumped out of town for Thanksgiving. It is true. Best spot for watching the competition. The key is getting here early and staying until it starts like a parade. Kind of mentioned it. Thanksgiving is a, a, a time and place where we get together with friends, friends and family around a table where 
most of us maybe some of us half of us quarter of us kind of don't really like each other don't really care for each other and then it becomes a big very big political fiasco and then we hate each other even more and then we don't talk to each other until the next thanksgiving if we show up to that thanksgiving it's basically what it is like you see relatives and distant relatives and yeah. but the food is damn good so i'm i'm there for the food yeah so yeah there for the food let's do the bowls yeah i'll practice first before i actually compete never mind i will just send it okay i, I forgot how to, how to do this how do you do this oh crap What am I doing? Press the button as fast as possible. Shit. I don't know my WASD. Ride him, cowboy. Ride him, cowboy. I'm the greatest of all time. Not bad, says Mark. Thank you. How many A's am I going to get? I think everything has been A. Almost. There's an S. There's another S. There's an A. <laughs> am I going to win? I don't even know, dude. Oh, it's a new record, it says. I don't know if that's good or not. Did I win? Maybe that means I went one. You know, I just realized it actually helps you because they put WASD in the right positions. Like up, left, right, down. That helps. A new record? Never mind. It's all about reaction and speed, I guess. Keep it coming. Don't at me. This is incredible. This is the best bull ride you've ever seen. Ever. I'm killing it. <laughs> I'm not afraid. We're on 100 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Dance Dance Revolution has nothing on me. That's all I gotta say. I can do this all day. All day. <clears throat> Give me a... Someone make me a cup of tea. We're going to be here for a while. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dang it. Try again. Somebody make me a bowl of cereal. I'm not going to drink the milk. No problem. Yeah. Keep it coming. This would definitely hurt my groin if I was on this thing for this long. This is a pelvic eater, I'm telling you. Or maybe a pelvic beater. Probably the right word there. I'm still the greatest of all time, though. Going for world record status. Oh, shit. Yep, world record status in place. Can I go for 200 seconds? I don't know. Possibly. 200 seconds. Can we do 200? 200? 200? Do we see 200? Do I have 200? He has 200. Ladies and gentlemen, 200 seconds. Yours with the forehead. Thank you. Thank you. Might need to get some popcorn. We're going to be here for a while. Let's go. I can't look at chat. This is like the scariest time of my life. Bump, 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 bump. My hand is cramping, I will say. I am definitely feeling the cramps now. Right? There should be just a time limit where they're like, yeah, you could just get off. You did it. Good job. 
Oh, my hand is cramping bad now. Oi. If I switch hands, it won't be possible. I can't switch hands. There we go. Oh, that hurt. Summer Burger. Wow, that's cool. I like the way that looks. Assorted grill platter. Corn on the cob. <laughs> 75 seconds. I'm great. What am I then? <laughs> Hooray! We did it! I guess technically... Um... Oh, start the cow competition? Do you want to start the cow competition? I guess, but we don't have any cows right yet. Yeah, so we're not going to use somebody else's cow. Uh, we can't do the chicken, we can't do the cow, and I think that's pretty much it, because we can't do the pet one either. Uh, which is fine. So yeah, I think the bull ride is all we can really do. Yep. How do you like that? Best animal festival of all time? Possibly. <laughs> all right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, as far as this, I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. I think I'm going to hold on to it. I'll hold on to it. Yeah, we'll hold on to it. I won't use it. There's no need for me to use it right away. I'll just keep it as is. And then tomorrow is somebody's birthday. So we had to worry about that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is it Kaim every time you play the bowl game? Is it Kaim that um, is the is like the high winner or something? Or like the highest? Like if I do season two or when I do like like when you do year two, like it, it, is Kaim always going to be at the top? It is good day for gardening. Okay. Go to bed. You think so? Okay. I don't know whose birthday it is. Guess we'll figure that out here in a sec. Game saved. Oh, crafting. Yep, there we go. I haven't had a mastery in some time. Oh, it's Emma and Eva's birthday today. Oh, Eva. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you, Eva? Yes, yes, yes. Eva, Eva, Eva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Very good, very good. I'm about it. I'm for it. Oh, we have corn. Um, was that one of our list items? Actually, it was one of our list items. I think it was for the fall. Whoops. But yes, we'll take that. Uh, let me just, I'll water this and then I'll send it here in a sec. There we go. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, this is for the fall season crops. And then we'll go like this. Thank you. We should probably think about adding more crops to the land. I think peppers were the ones... I don't think blueberries are. But I think peppers were the... Wait, maybe it was... Was it blueberries? I can't remember. Blueberries or peppers were the ones that also went into fall? I have a feeling it was blueberries? Could be just peppers, though. I don't think both of them were. I think it's one or the other. That went into fall as well. I think it was peppers. It was just the peppers. Okay, just the peppers that went into the fall. That's what I thought. That kind of sucks now thinking about it. I should have put the peppers then with the sprinklers. Since they're going to be around for a while. That's all right, I guess. There we go. Um, I don't know if we need a particular quality of corn. Uh, corn can go in the mason jar, I think, for pickled, right? Uh, so let's go like this. We'll go like this. Come over here. I'm pretty sure we put corn in the mason jar. And we'll go silver. That'll be good. We'll hold on to the rest of the corn. I will take one to the goddess. Do that as well. Thank you. Awesome. I will water my bananas. There we go. Cool. And I guess the next thing we could do today is we can go to Pablo. Wait, what's today? Saturday? Oh, they closed that too, huh? We'll go to Pablo. We'll get our hoe dealt with. I might as well take the sea salt while, while I'm going there too. Uh, yes, we'll get our hoe dealt with. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. What am I missing? I'm missing the wood. The wood. The wood. The wood. Find the... You fool. Find the wood. There it is. We'll get that dealt with. Yeah. And then I think we can actually drop off a little bit of something something possibly. Like these essence, I think, too, if I'm not mistaken. I think. With her, I can't remember. Maybe not. Maybe so. I can't remember. Uh, well, we'll just put that in there. I don't think I can. Errands, errands, errands. Yep. For corn jam in the errands. Check your errands. Errands, errands, errands. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jim, 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 Jim. You're right, you're right, right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, so we need an extra corn. Let's grab an extra corn. Where's the corn? Good shout. See, look at you. Somebody's paying attention. And it is not the one in control. Somebody's paying attention. All right, let's head on over to Pablo's first. Uh, let's go to the temple. Have a good night, Shay. Thanks for hanging out with us. Do take care. Hope to see you again soon. Ocean loot, apparently, for that. So five sea salts. Uh, yes. Okay. That's good. Um, whoop. Money, it, but, but, okay. All right. I, apparently I haven't done that yet. What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, and I thought corn was for here, but it's not. Okay. I might've confused the corn with Stardew Valley. Possibly a little bit of confusion there with Stardew Valley. I will be the first to, uh, to admit my bad. Any pickle, right? My bad. Okay. Whoops a daisy. I take full blame on that one. Yeah, I would like to get the sweet kitchen soon. I need to talk to Joku. I forgot what it's the requirements for. I forgot how much money and stuff we need for the um for the kitchen upgrade. But yeah, I would like to get that in too. I messed up the corn, yeah, and the corn is from Stardew. Damn it. Yeah, that is the uh, of corn harvest festival item thing you need. I guess we can go talk to Jim then. And give him a corn. First, we need to go to Pablo though, because they close early on Saturdays. There we are. There we go. Dealing with the hoe, keeping that pimp pan strong. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Okay, let oh yeah, we'll process first. There we go. There we are. There we go. Oh, masquerade. Okay. Uh, I think most of those things, except for maybe the mask we have already. Uh, you, my good man, I would like to upgrade my hoe. Yes. Get that rolling. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay. So that's taken care of. Pablo's taken care of. Um, next thing we need to do is go to Jim. Let's go see where Jim's at. Oh, wait, no, we need to go to E. Oh, wow. Look at her freaking outfit. How come I never really noticed her summer outfit? Is that her summer outfit? I don't remember that. How come I don't remember that? Did I not talk to, uh, Emma a lot during the summertime? Interesting. She's like a long dress. I definitely don't remember that. It's your birthday, though, girl. Hello. We get a lot of bugs here in summer, uh, but there must be plenty at the farm too, huh? I mean, there forest, the forest is right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, honestly, your birthday. This looks so delish. Thanks so much. No problem. It's my birthday, you know. I do. Yeah, you plastered it right on the calendar at the town center. I know all about your birthday. Uh, Eva, go to the town. She's in the shop working. She's working on her birthday. Sam. Sam. We're going to need to have a little bit of a discussion now, are we? Sam, you have Eva working on her birthday. Hmm. Very well. I still need to get new a new outfit. I've been running with the same clothes every day for the past, like, 45 days. They're probably wondering what the hell's wrong with this guy. I agree. Hey, Eva. Happy birthday, Sam. Don't talk. 
Antonio's new boutique is like the place to be right now. I did a mini haul yesterday and the vibes totally on point. Nice. <laughs> there you are. I can't believe you remember my birthday. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good one. I'm watching you, Sam. From here on out. Okay. Um, Saturday. Is today closed day? Do, are they open on this day? What are you doing out here? Theo, the colors, the energy, the pets. I feel so inspired to create a song based on yesterday's festival. Oh, very good. The uh, boutique's up here, yeah? Yeah, there we go. Nope, nope, nope. No, your shop is not ready. Okay. Bunch of new stuff. Look at that. Okay, this is the first time I've actually seen the wedding dress. Enchanting wedding dress. Serenity. Serenity now! Classic charm and a timeless tux. Sick. Whoa. One piece? <laughs> okay. How are you doing? Swimsuit green. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen the swimsuits yet. Oh, there's new stuff, man. Oh, wait. We've seen that one. Or at least I've seen that one, yeah. Nice. Well, it's like an over... Oversized shirt? Open shirt? I do like these ones. These ones are pretty cool. I like that one. I do. I do like that one. I am a fan of that one. I will say. I've done that one quite a bit, though. Maybe I mix it up a bit. Potentially, I could mix it up. I do that one quite a bit. Um, I don't know. What would a farmer wear? Obviously, none of these. <laughs> Airy shirts, kind of neat. I'll maybe do that. Let's see. Let's see. Skadoosh. Nice skirt. Um, skinny jeans? Not since I was 14 years old, baby. Um, I can't get my fat ass in a skinny jean anymore. Uh, mm, I do like the hammer. I kind of dig it. Look at the vans. Checkered. The white slip-ons, not too shabby. It's like I'm I'm classy, but I'm also here to party, you know? No. Yes. Like I'm I'm classy, I'm here to party, but I also work on the farm, you know what I mean? No, I don't think we need a hat. Any back bling? No, I don't need any back bling right now either. $3,300? $4,300? Oh my goodness. I'm not ready for that. Somebody should have said something. What are you doing, Cans? Don't you know that's way out of your budget? No. No, I did not. Actually, I thought it was in budget. I didn't know they were smacking these prices like that. My goodness gracious. JK, LOL. <laughs> Love the wedding clothes. I'm interested now. I want to see like what the heck. Oh, hello, Mark. Can you not? Like, I'm just saying. Don't embarrass the rest of us out here because that's exactly what you're doing. You think I can compete against you, Mark? Huh? I can't. I just can't. I don't know what to say. I'm proud of all my shelter pets. They behave themselves so well at this festival. Very well. It is. On oh, summer, I should go for the shorts, huh? That's true. But even in real life, Summertime, I'm still wearing pants. <laughs> I am. Hello, my love. The town just reached rank E, darling. Heard some folks in town talking about it. Oh, you did such a great job. Uh, yes, would you like a hibiscus? This is marvelous, darling. Thank you. No problem. No problem, indeed. Right. Jim, we need to talk to Jim. Where are you? 
Jim 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 Got it. Oh, he's right here. Nice. Are the coconuts ready to go? I think the coconuts are ready to go. You're right. Coconuts are ready to go. Two and a half men. Nice. Thank you. I can't take him serious with that hat, man. Well, would you believe it, Cans? We've achieved an E rank for our town. Local businesses are certainly showing signs of confidence. In fact, we've welcomed a new clothing store, and Sam has expanded its seed selection. Quite the progress, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I forgot to actually check on Sam, though. Um... Jim. Corn, buddy. Not to Yuri. Sorry, Yuri. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Cool. You don't like flowers, huh? You don't like flowers, Yuri. Can I give you a candy? You like candy, though, right? She should, right? You're so kind. Thank you. No problem. Put it away, Mark. Oh, 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 that was a beautiful butterfly. Do I have that? Is that a fly? I don't know what that is. I think that's a fly. Not entirely sure. I missed. And they raised the prices due to the shipping issues with their suppliers. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Radish seeds. Um, plant spring and summer grows in six days. Okay, I think I could do that actually right now. What time is, or six days, six would be that, that, to that. We could do that right now. Get radishes up on the board here. Let's do that. We'll do 15. Tomato seeds. Uh, plant in summer grows 10 days and produces every four days. Not worth it right now. Starfruit seeds. Plant in summer grows 13 days. Um, we could technically get away with that. Okra, plant in summer grows nine days, produces every six days, not worth it right now. Uh, plant in summer, melon, okay, banana, plums, all the above. Papaya, there's the papaya that we need for that one quest. Um, I think maybe starfruit, we'll get starfruit in. Because we can technically do this one too. We'll do that. Spend a little money on crops. I'm stocking Nina, possibly. Possibly. You never know. There we go. Is Leah low-key possibly mermaid? Or mer mer folk? Mer mermaid. Is mermaid Yeah, mermaid. She possibly mermaid? Is there hints about it? I don't know. She has like the uh little mermaid kind of thing going on in the main menu, right? Somebody pointed out today. She do be got that she she do be gotten that going. I'll grab these coconuts real quick. So the next birthday is on the 16th. Yeah, the 16th. Whoa. Careful now. Go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. One thing we haven't done quite a bit is fishing. Maybe we can do a little bit of fishing too. We'd like to also upgrade the fishing rod and the net and all that eventually, right? course haven't been over here in a hot minute either white hibiscus there we go stir fry looks bomb bomb diggity you suck at the bug catching i do too but i, I honestly i just think it's maybe because i don't have a good enough net but also you can use um a repellent that I haven't used also, right? I think there's a repellent that you can use for the bugs that you can creep on. Kind of like how I think Palea does it. Did I miss the tree back there? Kind of like how Palea does it. I forgot what it's called though in this game. I missed a couple trees. There we are. Oh, there's one too. There we are. Let's do a little bit of fishing though. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a challenging thing, right? The bug catching. Hello, Noah. How are you? You mind if I fish here, buddy? 
Hopefully I don't disturb you in your evening looking for, I don't know what the heck you're looking for, but yeah. I think the bug catching is way harder than the fishing in this game. I like the old school kind of like, I know like it's very simple, but I like the old school bug catching where you just, I don't know, you just like, you just walk up to the freaking bug and then you catch it. Like you don't have to like creep on it and everything, you know, just like, let me just run up to it and catch it. <laughs> I get it though, but having the challenge is nice too, but squid. All right, we need to donate that to the museum. Oh, I need to get the museum reward too, right? Yeah. The fishing takes long. Even with the upgraded fishing rod, does it still take long? Because this right here, like fighting it with it with the basic fishing rod is pretty long. But yeah. Yeah, and then when you fish, uh, time does pause. So there's that for you. Which not a lot of games do that when like like stardew valley time's not stopping when you're fishing you know it would be interesting i guess i i think it would make the game easier if time stopped in stardew and things like that you haven't got the upgraded one yet i haven't looked into it myself maybe i should this game i don't know i don't know i guess this game does oh god my goodness this game does have some sort of like stardew kind of similarity i think when it comes to like <sighs> wow that was really effed when it comes to like certain time of the day maybe if it's raining or not for certain fish you know that kind of thing oh well, you need bronze essence for the upgrade on the fish rod oh oh the line gets stronger oh i see level up bugs by catching the easy ones to get the traps then they catch the bug. Oh, the traps. Oh. Oh, see? I learn something new every day now. Yeah, if I, yeah, if you upgrade and then the line gets stronger, yeah, that would make it easier. I don't know if it quick quickens the speed of this. It might, actually, if it's stronger then. Come on now. Good job. Can at least donate that. Kind of wish I had the museum teleporter open, but we just don't have that quite yet. Not yet. Not yet. Luckily, we'll have a lot of bronze essence to make these upgrades too. So I'm happy about that. Let's just go to the museum real quick. I caught a red snapper earlier today, and it gave me so much trouble. I thought it was a shark. <laughs> this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Oh my God, I think it's a shark. The tiny little red snapper. No. <laughs> Lily, how are you, Lily? What's going on, Lily? Thanks for becoming a member. Appreciate you. Thank you very much, Lily. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we'll do that. Do that. I will grab my reward this time. And it was a tap. Cool. Which I think I can actually make taps. I think, maybe. Yeah. You fought with a lobster today. <laughs> you could have stop at the upgrade fishing shack to check out. Oh, I thought I was assuming it was closed at five or something. Is it what time does it close at? Does it close at six? No, time doesn't stop in Dinkum when you fish either. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my hoe yet. Frick. Gotta go get my hoe. I gotta go get my hoe. Very well. We'll sell that, that, that. Uh, that. Actually, I don't think I need that. Maybe I do. I don't know. I'll hold on to that for a sec. That. Uh, that. Check this. I hope the farm is treating you well this time of the year. Here's one of my favorite recipes. Fish tacos. Thank you, Emma. Hey, Minka. Thank you for becoming a member as well. Appreciate you. Thank you, Minka. And thank you, Lily. Very kind of y'all. Thank you. Very sweet. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it. Oh, I already donated it. Okay, never mind. I don't need to do anything else with it. 
Oh uh, yeah, so that's fine. Duh, I already donated it. I literally just donated it right in front of everyone here. Uh, sea salt, I'll keep, sorry. Uh, this, put the corn in there. Good, here, nada. Here, yada. That, that, and artifacts we'll hold on to. I'll put the salt in there, compost in there. I guess I could put the tap technically on a tree somewhere, but I'll kind of plan that out, I guess, later. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, let's put this in there. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to do the seeds in the morning with the hoe. The tap will be taken care of. Actually, you know what? Let me go back outside. Let me go back outside and see how much energy I have. I have quite a bit of energy to spend, so let's spend it wisely, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, ho, oh, no love. Pickled corn. Does that count as pickles? It said any pickles. Does that count as pickled corn too or no? Love watching your lives and participating. I appreciate that, Minka. Yeah. Love that. Don't forget you can do the quick transfer. Yeah, that's true. I can. If it was a bug, but don't tap the tree outside your farm. Okay, keep... Uh, tap trees only inside the farm, yeah? Yours disappeared when the season changed? Okay. Yeah, we need to get the pine for the resin. Good shout. So this is yes. Okay, so this we can use. Alright, so I won't use that then. Uh, let me see if I can grab a pine tree over here. There should be a pine tree somewhere down here, right? There's one right there. Technically. I guess I could use it. I'll use it. I'll use this hey, pine tree. Subscriber. Also, thanks for subscribing. Daz up you. Appreciate it. Hey, Lily. What's going on, Lily? Love the Coral Island videos and the real estate agent simulator was hilarious. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good to see you, Lily. Oh, you got the tap bug too? Oh, so only keep it inside the farm here then, yeah? Yours didn't disappear, but when I was able to collect from the once, not ever again. Hey, rock garden what's going on how you doing grow a pine where you want and then you can move the tap later yeah i could do that what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna throw it on this one real quick and then i'll gonna i'm gonna i'm going to form a tree line eventually but just for right now early on we'll just throw it right there and then i'll clear out this stuff there we are Can you chop the big street uh, tree stumps now? Actually, you might be right. I might be able to. Now that I have the upgraded um thing thing. Oh gosh, let's see. Yep. Good shout, Diane. I think I can even get the rock up there too. I want to see if I can quickly get to the temple goddess real quick. Before the night ends. I want to see if I can deliver this pickle. Go, go, go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The large logs. Yeah, the large logs we can't yet. Uh, let's see. Is it in here? No. In here? No. In here. Yes. 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 Good job. Cool. Dried scavengeable. Okay, right. Good, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Awesome. What is this? This is egg, duck egg, egg, duck egg. Okay. So it'd be nice to get chickens and ducks in eventually too. And that would be good. Maybe we do that. Maybe we get the the, the ducks and chickens next. Maybe that's the next thing we focus on. We've already gotten our upgraded tools, at least throughout the entire tier here. We did the, I mean, we did whatever we could with the animal uh, quest. And there's not really a lot that we could have done. But we've taken care of that, or we take we took care of that. And then I guess the, um, yeah, the next thing I think we are going to have to like get animals in finally. Yeah. I think that would be a nice thing to have chickens, ducks, sugar, spice, everything nice. You know? Yeah. I like it. I like that. Happy Thanksgiving Eve Eve from the hubby. 
Retorgi and I, how are you, Tiffany? Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving Eve Eve to you as well. <laughs> so funny. Oh, it's getting late. You can do large logs when you get the silver tools, but only large logs not on your farm, from what I can tell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, no, no, no. You can do large logs on your farm, or you should be able to, right? Yeah. I have silver tools, and I could cut the large logs outside my farm. I wasn't able to cut the ones on my farm with silver tools. What? Are they the same? Oh, on your farm is gold. Okay, well, there you go. Interesting. Tomorrow's sunny and all that. There we go. Perfect. What do we get here? They are not the same. Oh, okay. Hey, this is cool, though. We got the tap, so we can uh, get that in anytime we want. And we got wooden signs, so we can actually use that. We have a skill point in forging, too. Um, we have small fish bait. Leveled up our fishing. That's nice to see. We got some relationships with Nina, Eva, and, well, Emma. Not to, not, no disrespect to Emma, but Eva and Nina, right? Uh, 1,500 coming our way. That's good. That's going to help us with our chicken coop. Chicken coop, chickens, and ducks eventually. But obviously, that will have to come in the next Coral Island stream. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. That is about the three-hour mark. Big shout out to all of you for hanging out with me today as we played Coral Island. We will be back with Coral Island, but we most likely will be back with Coral Island after Thanksgiving. So I'm going to just take the day Thanksgiving off. I'm going to go obviously spend time with family and dinner. And so after Thanksgiving is when we will be returning back to some more Coral Island. Tomorrow, we're going to be revisiting a game that I played on the channel many, many months ago. And we're going to do the full release. It's 1.04 and it's a game I really enjoyed. Uh, when it first came out so it's a cozy-ish game and has a nice little story to it and there's a lot of tycoon management business to it and we'll dive into that tomorrow I won't name it I won't give away the spoil surprise you'll just see it when it pops up when I schedule it uh, later this evening other than that I want to say a special thank you for the people that subscribe thank you to Minka for becoming a member and thank you Lily for becoming a member as well all the people that also became member or re-upped their memberships thank you very much and Lizzie Adams thank you for becoming a member too yeah um, Yurok, thank you for the 25 super chat and thank you, um, for the 10 gifted memberships too. Thank you, Molly Wiseman for the gifted membership. And thank you, Danielle, for the super chat. Thank you, Hannah, for the super chat. Thank you, Hannah, for becoming a member as well. Thank you, Darren, for the five gifted memberships. And thank you, Sebastian and Sebastian's wife for the multiple super chats. Appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter or x.com and you can order merch if you would like to at canceloan.tv. When you order merch, I'll send you a video, a personalized video. Pretty cool. Anyways, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Have a good rest of your night, evening, day, wherever that may be. And uh, do as always, take care. She said we better of his best friends. Who was the best friend? Can you let me know what it means to be a best friend? Let me know the next man. I can tell her